Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game called Rocket Man. This one's designed by Martin Wallace. It plays one to four players and it's published by Phalanx and they're the ones that are sponsoring this video today. Now you may know Martin Wallace from other games such as Brass, yep. both Brass, Birmingham and Lancashire, yep. as well as Age of Steam amongst other titles because he was a very prolific designer. Yes. And so today this game is a little bit different. There is uh, some deck building, multi-use cards. And yep. at the end of the day, we are going to be trying to launch missions to Earth's orbit, the moon, and Mars. Yes. Now, because this is a sponsored video, we won't be including a review at the end, but we will be doing a full teach as well as a playthrough. And a post-game discussion. A little discussion after, yeah. And so if you're interested in jumping around, we will include timestamps down below. Now, we are going to be trying something new. We learned a technique from both Ruel Gaviola as well as Rado Run Through, mm -hmm. uh, where we can kind of green screen so you can get a close-up of the cards. Yes. This is the first time we're doing this, so we're really hoping that it works out. I, yeah, we hope so. And if it does, then you'll be able to actually see close-ups of the cards this time so otherwise we are ready to begin that's right yep. so if you please direct your attention to the set of the table we are all set up here for a two-player game of rocket men by martin wallace <laughs> the designer <laughs> right on the himself. board yeah right on the board and so just to kind of give you the lay of the land this is the main board and these are the three different locations we have earth's orbit down here the moon as well as mars yep. and so over the course of the game we're going to be attempting to launch missions to each of these three different locations and the type of mission as well as how many points they're worth are listed all over here on in these sections of the board yep now each player starts the game with their hand of 12 mission cards and these are identical we each have our own set as well as their own player boards. And the player boards is where you're going to be uh, holding your deck of cards because this is a deck builder, as well as your mission that you're going to be going on and your launch pad, which will all make sense in a second. So before we talk about turn structure, let's talk about the anatomy of one of these mission cards. So this right here is an example of one of the 12 mission cards that we have in our hand. And you know this is a mission because it says mission right there. And because at the bottom right here, shows you the different types of missions that you can go on with this card. At the very bottom here, it shows an image of Earth as well as the moon. And so that means you can use this card to launch a mission to either of those locations. If you choose to launch your mission to Earth's orbit, which is the top option right here, then it's going to require you to have a minimum of five rocket points in your launch pad, which will make sense in a second. And so that's what that number is uh, to the side right there. Over here on the right hand side here is the type of mission that you're going to be launching. And so if you take a look at the board, you'll notice that each location has these different types of missions that you can launch there. And so the symbol on the card pertains to that specific mission type. Right. The bottom right hand corner of the card here is the ongoing benefit that you will earn if this mission was a success. And any symbols on the top left-hand corner of the card here stands for money or items that you can use in order to purchase more cards from the market. And so that is the basic anatomy of specifically these mission cards. So now that we've talked about the mission cards, let's talk about turn structure. Mm -hmm. So at the start of the game, each player is going to have a hand of six cards. So that's half of your deck. Yep. That is also your hand size. And so at the end of each turn, you're going to draw up to that hand limit. Mm -hmm. And so on your turn, there are three different types of actions you can take. And you can take each action any number of times you want before you end your turn. Mm -hmm. The first type of action is acquiring more cards from the market, which is down here. Now, as you can see, there are three main types of cards that you'll find in the market. And the cost for each of these cards is at the very bottom of the card. Whenever you go to purchase a card from the market, you're going to discard cards from your hand into the play area to meet the cost of the card that you're purchasing. And yep. so, for example, if I want to purchase that $30 engine, then I'm going to have to spend, say, all three of these mission cards from my hand because at the top left hand corner, it says that they are each uh, worth $10. Yes. And so they go into my discard pile at the very end of the turn for it to get reshuffled back into my deck. So it's not like I lose them. And so back to these engine cards at the top left hand corner, each of them gives you a certain number of rocket points that you can use in order to go on these missions. And some of them also give you additional money. So for this uh, engine specifically, it's two rocket points as well as $10. So I can use it to either purchase more cards in the future or to help launch a mission, which will make sense in a second. The next type of card you can purchase are threats. And so we're not going to go into detail about these because these essentially just allow you to purchase points. To they're points, just worth yeah. points at the end of the game. This one's worth two points uh, and it doesn't do anything else for you. So if you were to purchase it, it'll clog up your hand. <laughs> And then the last type of card, which is the most numerous, are these asset cards. And so asset cards are just like the other cards where at the top left hand corner, it'll give you some sort of an item or a monetary value for you to use when purchasing other cards or when going on missions. But uh, they also give you some kind of benefit that you can use 
in the actual text box. And so you're typically going to be using these cards to discard for that benefit or to purchase items or launch missions with the stuff at the top left hand corner. Mm -hmm. Now I do want to mention this is a perfect example of a card that costs more than just money. In order for me to purchase this card from the market, I have to spend $40 and a card that has that specific computer symbol. Mm -hmm. And so some of your mission, I believe uh, in everybody's starting hand, we each have one mission card in our hand that has uh, one of each type of symbol that you'll see. I believe so. I can't remember the exact distribution. Now, the next type of action that you can take is the meat and potatoes of this game. And this is assigning cards to your mission spot and your launch pad. Now, you can only ever be working on one mission at any given time. And so in order for you to choose a mission, you have to choose one from your hand and you have to pay $10. So that's what that 10 cross out symbol looks like at the bottom here. Yep. And if you play a mission, say like this card over here, the satellite that also has $10 as a uh, an item at the top left hand corner, this $10 can pay for itself. So if I were to choose this card as my mission, I can just play it onto that mission spot there without having to discard any additional cards. Now, I do want to note that these player boards are typically horizontally facing when you actually play the game, but we've made them vertical uh, for the purpose of kind of filming. Just to get a little tighter. Yeah. Yep. Now, once you have a card in your mission spot, then you can actually start adding cards to your launch pad. You can never have cards in your launch pad unless you have a mission yes. that you're working on because they're directly tied to that mission. In order to add cards to my launch pad, each card also costs $10. Now, let's just take this mission as our example and say, you know what, we want to go and try to send this mission to Earth's orbit because it is the more affordable of the two mission types. And so in order for this mission to be successful, I need to have at least two rocket points in my launch pad. Let's say on a previous turn, I had acquired this engine that gave me the two rocket points and then now it's in my hand. And so on my turn, I could say, I'm gonna spend $10. And so if you remember this engine actually has the $10 on it already, so it's gonna pay for itself. And I'm going to play it into my launch pad. It goes right there. So now I have the minimum number of rocket points needed to launch this mission. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a success, as right. you'll see in a second, but at least it's eligible to be launched. And just to make it easier, I'm going to turn all my cards vertical and we'll probably do it like this for the playthrough as well. Now, at the end of your turn, you're going to have the opportunity to launch exactly one mission. It's optional, but if you want to launch a mission, it's going to have to be at the end of your turn. The way that launching missions works is each destination has a certain number of uh, spaces that the rocket needs to advance on in order for the mission to be successful. Because I'm planning on sending this satellite mission to Earth's orbit, I need to reach this space over here, which is eight spaces. Mm -hmm. I can increase my chances of making this mission successful by also placing cards in my launch pad that show a symbol that corresponds to the location. So in this example, Earth's orbit has this uh, computer symbol. And so if I were to spend money to place, say, this card, in my launch pad, that'll help me succeed my mission. If I wanted to do that, I would have to spend a different card that gives me the $10 needed. And so this would go into my play area. And I would place this right here in my launch pad. Now I have a card that has two rocket points as well as one card that has that symbol. Now this is all done pre-launch. This is not done yes. after you make the decision this of is, launching. This is done during your turn, yes. during that action that allows you to place cards in your mission as well as your launch pad. Mm -hmm. And so maybe now I feel like I am ready to launch this mission. Sure. Uh, before you end your turn, I want to just mention that the third type of action you can take is you can discard any number of cards from your hand into your play area. That is just a way for you to shuffle through your deck faster. Yep. And now before I end my turn, I am going to go ahead and launch this mission. And so the way that that works is I would first check to see, did I meet the mission requirements? And so for this mission, like we we're mentioning, to go to Earth's orbit, I needed two rocket points, which I have right here with my small rocket boosters. And so this mission launches. Now we're going to see if it actually succeeds. And so for each card that you have in your launch pad that matches the symbol of where you're going, you get to go one bump up on this rocket track. Mm -hmm. So I only had one of them, which means I only got the one advancement, which means I have to make up the rest by drawing cards from the mission success deck. So this deck has a, a distribution that's listed here, actually. There's one card that has four points, there's four cards that have three, and it goes all the way down to zero. There are two cards in here that have zero yeah. advancement. This was 18 total cards. Yes, and so this is the push your luck element of the game because there is no guarantee that your mission is gonna succeed. So all that prep work that we just mentioned is to try to make it so that you have the most likelihood of succeeding your mm -hmm. mission. And then if we look again at our mission card, 
to the side of the number of rocket points tells you how many mission success cards you are allowed to draw from this deck to try to make it to your destination. So for ours, it says three cards. Now you're going to be drawing these cards one at a time because uh, if you feel like you're not going to make it all the way, then you have the opportunity to stop prematurely, to mm -hmm. abort the mission. Yep, abort. And so let's just try. I'm over here in the one okay. spot. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card. So that gives me two. two. Two advancement, one, two. I'm going to keep going. So, uh-oh, okay. there's a one. One. So you know you're only going to pull one more card. Yes. And there's only one four in this deck of about 16 cards left. Correct. So I can choose to continue going and really push my luck, or <laughs> I could abort the mission. If mm. I choose to abort because I feel like I'm not going to make it, then you have to discard cards from your launch pad equal to uh, one minus however many success cards you actually drew. So in this so, case, you would only discard one card from your yes, launch pad. Yes, exactly. And so that is a kind of a way where I, so that I don't have to like rebuild the entire thing yep. every time. If I push and I fit, well, let's just try it. Okay, I'm go I'm going to go it. and draw the third let's card. See what you did. It's two, a two. Fail. One, two. I failed. <laughs> so in the case of a failure, you have to discard your entire launch pad. Yes. You can choose to discard your mission as well. You don't have to. It's optional. So if I want to continue working on it again, I can keep it. But uh, unfortunately, that would mean I would have to discard it. If I had drawn that four and this actually made it to Earth, then I would succeed and I would score points for that. And so the way that that works is, first of all, the symbol at the bottom right hand corner of your mission card is a reward that you get an ongoing benefit that you'll have for the rest of the game. And in this example, it is a rocket point. And so each player has their own uh, chips that resemble these rewards, like this one. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on my board so that every turn now, uh, I have this additional rocket point. Then you place a mission token on that mission spot. We are actually using some upgraded components mm -hmm. for our playthrough. And so these are the bits. They do not come in the base game, but we thought that they were really cool. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and use them. So then you would put it here. And so if you're the first person to achieve that mission, you get that number of points. Everybody else gets this number of points, which for that specific mission is zero. Yeah, if, so, you're, the, if you're the first one to a spot and complete a mission, you're yeah. going to go into the isolated higher numbered zone. Exactly. Everybody after you is going to get a lower score. And now for the rest of the game, I can never send a satellite to Earth's orbit because right. you can only have one of each type of mission mm -hmm. on the board. Yep. And lastly, the mission card that you used gets discarded out of your deck and so whatever the benefit that it was giving you and whatever it was doing for you it is now out of circulation uh, from your deck so you have to keep that in mind when planning um, your cards and that is pretty much how the game works you're going to be doing this over and over and over again um, until one of three end game triggers has been met mm -hmm. in a two-player game as soon as somebody hits 23 points then you finish out the round and you go into final scoring or if somebody puts out all six of their mission tokens on the board and each location has at least one, doesn't have to belong to them. That's yeah. also uh, one of the ways the game can end. And the third way is if everybody around the table has put out all six of their mission tokens, which I'm assuming is really hard to do. We haven't done that yet. Yes, yeah, so, so. In, in the base game, uh, without these upgraded components, we actually have six of these tokens. Now, it's yes. going to look like we have more uh, because of all these different uh, components. So we have to just be aware that we have six total to be able to, to launch successfully. Yes. And then once the game ends, you just add up uh, additional points in the form of these threat cards, any threat cards that you've accrued. The first person to reach the moon gets this token, which is worth a point as well as Mars. And uh, at that point, whoever's most points wins. Yep. I do want to mention that getting to the moon and getting to Mars are both much, much harder to do. They are, yes. And so they're also worth uh, more points than Earth's orbit. Oh, I almost forgot. You also add up the points from your personal goal cards. So each player gets two of these at the start of the game. You're only allowed to fulfill one of your cards, so you choose one at the end, whichever one you're able to meet. And this basically just gives you additional points depending on uh, which criteria you're able to meet. So specifically for this card, it says the sky is the limit. It wants me to put these specific types of missions on those specific areas for an additional point each. In addition, in a two-player game, it looks like if I was the first one to fulfill all of these three things, then I'll get two additional points. Yep. In so higher player counts, it's a little bit more... Um, a little more forgiving, Forgiving, right, yeah. In a four-player game, it's if you are the first one to complete any of these things, then you get the two points. Mm -hmm. So fortunately for two players, it's mm -hmm. all or nothing. Yes. So I believe that is everything. Anything we missed, we're just going to go over during the actual playthrough itself. But yep. we're just going to get a little bit cleaned up, and we're going to get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the board. We have each drawn six cards from our decks, and now we just have to figure out who goes first. So, even the odds? Sure. Okay. I'll be evens. Okay, evens? I'll be yeah. odds. Okay, one, two, three. 
Okay, oh, evens, me. it's going to be you. All right, so I take the first player marker. Okay. And so the game comes with a small deck of these variants. You don't have to play with them at all, but mm. we are choosing to play with two of these cards because it does make the scoring a little bit more interesting. And so the cards that we are playing with today are Earth Summit. Mm -hmm. And so what this does is it makes each threat card, which are the orange ones, worth one point uh, in addition, right. additional points. So they're worth potentially three points now Very good. at the end of the game. And we're also playing with Shape the Future. And so this is kind of a competition for whoever can accrue the most number of those uh, symbols, yep. like a beaker The symbols. beaker, flask, symbols, yes. yeah. Yes, uh, on cards and tokens. Whoever has the most of those symbols at the end of the game will get three points. And again, those symbols are related to boosting your movement uh, going to the moon. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also purchasing cards. And purchasing cards require cards. those yep. as uh, the cost. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Yep. So are you ready to begin? We have our personal goal cards uh, off yes. to the side. We do have personal goal cards, yes. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll get started. Sure. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play a mission. Okay. down. I'm going to get started with this whole mission thing. Sure. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, try to launch this spaceship. Now with this card, I can go to all three different locations. I do not have to make this decision now. Right. You have to make the decision as to which location you're going to when you actually go to launch the mission. So for now, I'm just going to pay the $10 using, uh, let's just say this card right here, because it has the $10 symbol at the top left hand corner. Mm -hmm. This is going to get discarded to my play area. And I'm basically just spending that so that I could pay to put that mission into play. Right. So now I'm working on this mission. So with this other card here, I'm going to pay to place a card into my launch pad. So this is going to go over here. And let's just go ahead and play this card. I'm going to play this card into my launch pad because it has a rocket point on it. And I need to have three of them in order for that mission to eventually be successful. So I'm going to go ahead and play it there. All right. So now you have one towards the three that's required of that mission to launch it. Exactly. Okay. And so because we showed the cards that, sh that have money on them, from now on, whenever we actually go to buy cards or pay to put cards into our mission space and launch pad, we're just going to briefly show it. We're not going to put it in the Zoom yeah, camera. <laughs> it'll be a lot faster. Yep. So we're going to do that a lot, a lot over the course of the game. Yes. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to buy anything from the market. And so I'm just going to go ahead and discard a card as my last action for the for my turn. Okay. And that's that. Yep. So I don't have enough stuff in my launch pad to launch this mission. So I'm just going to end my turn by placing all the cards that I played this round into my discard and drawing back up to six. So I'm yeah. holding this. One, yep. So I go two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. That's me. All right, now back to you. Okay, very cool. So uh, I will do something similar. I am going to be playing this card here and I'm gonna be launching it. So you're going as, to- Or not launching it, I'm gonna be setting up a mission. So this is the mission that you're working That's on? That's the mission I'm working ah, on. So, so it has $10 already in the top left corner. Yes. So it pays for itself when setting up the mission. Exactly. Okay. And once, if this mission is successful, then you're going to lose $10 out of I will deck. lose $10 out of my deck, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Okay. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I have three cards, all of which have $10 on them. So I have $30 to spend. Yep. And so I'm going to go ahead and spend that 30 bucks, and I'm going to buy the storage batteries here. Nice. So storage batteries, this is a, this is an asset card that uh, he can use to spend $20 in the future. That's nice. Yep. A $20 card. Yep. Um, but if he chooses to use it for its ability on his turn, he can discard it from his hand to remove one card from the game from your hand or warehouse. Draw one card from your HQ. Oh my gosh, this is a calling card. It's a nice card. That's a really nice card. I need to get me one of those. <laughs> so this goes into my discard pile. Yeah, it goes into your play area. Um, yeah, my, yeah, my play area. And then we immediately fill in. If I had more money to spend, I can continue buying. Correct. Uh, at this point, I do not. And so <laughs> I will uh, go ahead and I'm going to discard these two cards out okay. of my hand so that I'm just going to get this new crop of six cards right here. And that is my turn. So all right. So will all go into my discard pile. So it goes back to me. Back to you. And gosh, the cheapest thing, the cheapest cards that I've seen in this in the entire game is $30. So if you mm -hmm. have less than $30 in your hand, you're not buying a card, essentially. Right. So I'm going to spend $10. This is a $10 card. Okay. To play this card into my launch pad, it has a rocket point on it. Nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and play that. Now I have two two rocket points here. It requires three if I want to launch to Earth's orbit. I haven't decided where I'm launching yet. Sure. I think what I'll do is give away the answer to that okay. <laughs> and spend another $10 to add a card to my launch pad. And it's going to be uh, this card. So this card, I'm using it for the item at the top left-hand corner. It corresponds to Earth's orbit. 
And so now you know that it's obvious that I'm going to try to launch my mission to Earth's orbit. Yeah, because it has that so, computer symbol, right? Yes, it has that computer symbol, and that is what Earth's orbit is. Correct. So I don't have an, any more money, so I'm not going to buy anything. That's pretty much going to be it. So I'm going to discard one card and keep this one. Okay. So now I draw back up to six, and if you cannot draw back up to that number, you just That's when reshuffle you reshuffle your, your discard pile. Exactly. I need to buy more cards in the market. Yeah, yeah. You have to get your money at the right time. You have to right. have at least 30 at the right time. Two. So. All right. Okay. Back to you. Back to me. Okay. Turns are very quick. They are quick. Yeah. yeah. So my turn's going to be fairly quick here. So uh, I'm going to spend 10 Okay. to put out a computer uh, chip thingy yeah. right over here into my launch pad. Okay. So that's going to help me with this potent this most likely I'm going so to go to Earth. You're yeah. going to Earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. What's your symbol? It is uh for the satellites. Okay. It's this one right here. Cuz remember only one person can be first. Exactly. So we don't want to have the same Well, you went first so it kind of symbol. it told me what not to do. So I I yeah. use it as yeah. the rocket. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And then uh surprisingly, uh I'm going to ditch three cards and hang on to one as my other turn and that's it that's it so that's me yep so then now i'm going to draw up so there's nothing to draw from here so this comes in here and now we shuffle all right so i'm going to do something exciting <laughs> for me so i'm spending all three of these cards uh they all have ten dollars top left because i'm going to buy an engine nice so engines are nice because they have multiple rocket points at the top left hand corner as you, you notice but you can only ever buy one of them per turn right. doesn't matter which flavor of them <laughs> just one per turn so thirty dollars to buy this one the small rocket boosters it's great <laughs> Because cool. it gives me two rocket points and ten dollars. Yeah, and there in the text it says you can only do this once per turn. Yes, exactly. So this, because I just purchased it, is going to get discarded into my play area, and uh, I'm also going to spend another ten dollars to place a card into my launch pad, and it's going to be the spaceship. Um, it also has that the symbol, computer symbol on it because I'm going to use it to launch this mission eventually. Oh, it's not as exciting as I thought. You thought you were going to launch? I thought I was going to launch. I actually don't have enough rocket points. Well, you three. bought the rocket points so in the future maybe you can yeah. Try, yeah oops it takes some time i think you start the game in your 12 cards i think there's only two rocket points i think so yeah yeah, yeah. i think it encourages you to do what you, exactly what you just did yeah you have to buy more so that's the end of my turn i'm discarding this card from oh. my hand because it doesn't do anything okay yeah, again i'm gonna have a, a very straightforward simple turn uh, i'm gonna spend 10 uh-huh to uh put out another computer chip so we're trying to make this as easy on me as possible cool uh i'm going to hang on to one card discard three draw back up to six and now it's back to you really quick turns <laughs> yes <laughs> very quick turns well uh i'm going to spend the engine that i had just purchased sure. um if you remember it showed the ten dollars on it that means it's going to pay for itself and i'm yeah. going to go ahead and place it directly into my launch pad so that now at the end of my turn i will be able to launch this mission and then i'm going to go ahead and spend uh thirty dollars so these three cards Mm -hmm. to purchase this card solar energy okay yes solar energy so what this does is it's going to be twenty dollars in hand for me to use in the future nice. but also at some point in the game i can remove this card from the game entirely in order to take a, a threat card of that specific type and the types are at the top right hand corner as long as that card is in the display exactly and yeah. it's nice because we have that variant that's in play that makes um the threat cards worth more, One more, essentially. Yeah. Okay. We instantly fill this in. Yes. What do we got here? Super capacitors. Wow, that's Ew. a nice looking one. Yeah, that, that allows you to kind of flush your hand. So It does, plus it has the that flask, which is also very important. Whoever has the most flasks at the right. end of the game. But this requires chips, and we have played our computer chips. So nobody's out. getting so it. So nobody's getting it anytime right now. soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, All right. I'm going to, uh, for my last action, I'm going to discard this card from my hand okay. and then before i actually go and redraw everything i'm going to launch a mission okay. first time we're doing this cool. so first things first we have to make sure that i meet the mission requirements so clearly i'm going to earth's orbit so it requires me to have three rocket points and then it's going to allow me to draw three mission success cards sure so let's go ahead and do that so you do have th you have overkill right you have four rocket i have four points. two yeah. three four rocket points which means this is a success now i'm going to get a bump up on here for each number of these symbols I have in my launch pad, computer. and so I have two of them, nice. the computer symbols. So I go one, two. Okay. So I need to make up six, six. six of these. And the type of uh, mission that I'm going on is specifically that one, Yep. which is this spaceship. So I'm gonna place that right there so that we know where to, to, to aim for. Sure. Okay, so I have up to three. Yes. You shuffled? I did, yeah. All right, did. go. First one is one. <gasps> 
That's not very good. Continue? Yeah, keep going. Three. That's there nice. Go. One, two, three. So you need to hit a two. So this is your distribution here. So there is five ones and two zeros. You've taken out one of the ones. There are four ones, two zeros, but there are six twos, and I just need... Go big or go It's home. greater than 50% chance that you're going to succeed here. So let's do it. I would go for it. Yeah. Ready? Ah, yes. Please. And I was wrong. <laughs> this is why percentages are percentages. <laughs> Fail. No, I failed. That's okay. Gosh, that stinks. Wow. All right. Well, I failed. So <laughs> that means this everything. This is a good way to demonstrate a fail. Yeah. It right? all goes away. Right on the get-go. Everything gets discarded. Are you going to maintain the mission? I'm going to maintain the mission. Okay. It's so... already, I spent the money to put it there. Wow. And uh, Naveen isn't working on it yet. so I'm not I'm working gonna... on it. Yeah. Wow, that stinks. Wow, all wow, right. wow. So this all gets discarded. So I'm going to take one, two, three, and shuffle this. Wow. Wow. What a stinker. Yeah. Well, but at least you get all your stuff back. Maybe you can make more money, you know. I will try. Try. All right. Goes to you. Okay. So I'm going to uh, initially start off by spending 20 and 10, 30. And I'm going to buy one of those sweet little rocket ships that you did. So this is the, the only engine. time. The engine. Yeah. Engine rocket booster. Uh, this yep. is the only time I can buy this uh, during this turn uh, because you can only do one per turn. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend another 10 to put in a uh, rocket into my launch pad. So 10 for the rocket. Sweet. Because that cost me that. So now I have, so have one rocket point. One rocket point. I need two, though, to launch the mission. Uh, I will discard one card. Yep. And uh, that is going to be it for me. So I'm going to have to reshuffle this whole thing so I can draw back up to six. Okay. I'm going to try to restore my launch pad restore to its former armor. glory. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to play the engine that I bought earlier. If you remember, it can pay for itself and nice. it's two rocket points. Yep. So it's going straight into my launch it's pad. It's a perfect card for you. It is. I'm going to spend another $10 to place this rocket point into my launch pad. So now I have met the minimum requirements needed to yep. launch this mission. Very good. And I'm going to spend an additional $10 to place another computer chip into my launch pad. Like I said, we're restoring we're, yeah. to our former You're basically glory. going for it again. <laughs> basically going for it, but I'm not launching yet. I've yeah. learned from my, my mistakes and I'm going to discard that card. Now it's back to you. Yeah, okay, perfect. So uh, interesting. So what I will do is I'm going to Spend 10 okay. to put another rocket ship into uh, this spot right here. So into my launch pad. Okay. Oh, so this is over here. I will hold on to two cards. I will ditch two cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm, you're going to launch a I'm mission? Going, so we have All a right. satellite we're trying to launch. Yes. Yeah, so where are you going? Uh, Earth. <laughs> so this is Naveen's mission. Yep. And because he's going to Earth orbit, he requires two rocket points, and he's going to, to be able to draw three mission success cards. Do you have exactly. at least two rocket points, Naveen? I do, yeah. One, okay. two. Okay. Yep. And it is your satellite, so go ahead satellite. and place your satellite right there. This little baby one right here. Cool. Okay. How many of these symbols do you have? I have two have? computers. So, you so get... I'm, I'm literally in the same situation as you, so... You need to make up six spaces. Yeah, and I also get to draw three, so... Are you ready <laughs> yeah. to meet your fate? I'm going for it. I hope you succeed, Thank for the you. record. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Okay. First card is a zero. Oh keep going. <laughs> Do we keep going? Yes, I, yeah. Oh One. my gosh. Okay. So at this point, it's impossible. I'm bailing. You're going to bail? Abort? Absolutely. All right, Naveen's aborting. It's not usually this difficult to succeed these missions, by the way. We're just drawing really bad cards. Wow. So you have to discard one card from your launch pad. I do. Yes. Um, wow. Wow, 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 Just wow, one. Wow. Oh, okay. I'll just, I'm going to keep these, uh, these computers and I'm going to get rid of one of my, uh, one rocket one point. One rocket point because I have something that could work. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Well, <laughs> now that we've de demonstrated how yeah, to fail, we've how to fail, fail, how to abort, one abort and show us some success. Hopefully next one. Oh my gosh. Are you done oh. with your turn? Yeah, that's me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump onto my turn. I'm going to spend $10 to place another one of these computer chips into my launch pad. And now I'm fully restored <laughs> it back to its former glory. I'm a little <laughs> bit worried about leaving it at this. We had, we had a, we just had bad luck, honestly, because the numbers work out in your favor. Yeah. It's just mm. when you pull them, then it's just, you know, what are you going to do? You know what? I don't have enough money to do what I thought I was going to try to do. You're going to buy something? So, yeah, I am going to buy something. I'm going to spend 30 bucks because this is $20, 20 okay. to buy another engine. That's the one engine. And now we are sold out of the small rocket boosters. So at least it's I bought that. Good. That means and it's going to be expensive for me. It will be. Shoot. Uh, I'm going to discard this card as well. And then I will just 
go ahead and try to launch this mission. It's the exact same situation as before. I have the three rocket points. It's going to launch. We're going to Earth's orbit. And let's try again with my spaceship. Just like that. Cool. So two computer symbols means two bump ups. And let's try it, Naveen. Oh, gosh, yeah, okay. let's do it. I get uh, three. Same thing. Same it's thing. all the same thing. Same scenario, but we're demonstrating a success this time. Ideally, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ready? Yes. Three. Nice. One, two, three. I like where Keep I'm going. going. Yes. Three. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> we have succeeded. No, no need to go further than yep, that. Yeah, that's it. All right, Pretty so... Good. Then, first things first, I get the reward of the mission. Nice. And so for my mission card over here, that reward is a rocket point. So forever now, I have one rocket point to use uh, for the rest of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and place that into one of these six spots here. Yep. Your little thing. Yes. My thing goes uh, right here. there. Since I was the first person to achieve that, I get two points. So one, two. Okay. I'm on the map. And so if you haven't noticed, this is a score track. It only goes up to 30 because this is a lower-ish scoring if game. If you flip over your token, there's a 30 on the back side of it. Oh, I guess you can go further than that. <laughs> but uh, before we continue, just so we don't forget, these orange spots on the score track correspond to the threat cards. In order to buy them, you need to pay $50 plus whatever the symbol is, plus an additional $10, depending on how far you are on this track. Slightly bit of a catch-up mechanism, yes. I guess. So. Actually, this is an additional $20. 20 bucks, yeah. So it does get more expensive the more points you have. Now I'm going to place this card into essentially my junkyard, which I'm going to keep off screen because it is now out of circulation right. and this entire launch pad gets discarded. Cool. So now you permanently have one rocket point uh, because of your success there. Correct. So very, very good. That's it. Okay. Cool. I am one mission down, five to go. Okay. So I'm going to play uh, the small rocket booster to my, uh, my, my launch pad. It already has a 10, so it pays yep. for itself. So now I have a little overkill. I could technically go to the moon if I wanted to. Ooh. I'm not going that's to. That's far reaching. <laughs> yeah. Now I have 50 to spend here. So I have 20, 30, 40, 50 to spend. So uh, do I buy this? You have to have another symbol. I do have another symbol. Okay. If I wanted to, I could buy it. But so, I'm looking at these cards here. I just want to mention the next available type of engine mm -hmm. is a little bit more expensive. Now it's worth, It's a, it costs $50 plus that is a science symbol, so that's kind of like a wild symbol, which yeah. means you have to, to also discard a card that has any one of those three symbols on Either it. Either a computer, yes. a flask, or the, the helix. But it, now it gives you three rocket points right. instead of just the two. It's hmm. I, I can buy it. It's just I, I'm looking at these cards. These are looking a little sweeter here. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of liking this Research Institute, which is just a wild symbol of my choice. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to cost me 40, so let's just do that. That is so nice. So that's 40 right there. Yep. Okay, and then I will buy this asset yeah all it does it is it it's a, an item a wild item so yeah. now naveen can use this card to basically pay uh any to, one of those three boost. items yeah to boost That's really useful card yeah. actually so it's gonna go there cool and then uh i will discard a card and i will hang on to one and then let's go ahead and we're gonna try to launch again we're just gonna oh, okay. run it back we're gonna do the exact same thing that we tried to do earlier. Cool. This one comes over so here. So the exact same. Same thing. I have I have three rocket points. Cool. I have the two boost one two, and, and uh, we're just gonna wish for better luck. Three mission success cards. That's right. Yep. Nothing right. changed. Now in the future, some of these asset cards do have uh, abilities if you place them in your launch pad, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll we'll get to them when we kind of acquire It'll those. Happen, yeah. But that's uh, there are ways to mitigate this. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yes. All right. First thing is three. three. One two three. Continue. Yes. <laughs> One. Uh, yeah, okay. continue. Continue? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I Going can't. Going all the way. I can't not. Yeah, Three, perfect. Three, one, two. That's more like it, cool. right? Cool, yes. So success okay. for you. Yes, so my uh, bonus is the exact same bonus that Monique yeah, has. I get the point. one rocket point, so that's nice. Uh, and then also I put out this over here. So I get one victory point on the first one there. So yep. now if Monique was to go here, she would get no points. So I'm not going to go there. <laughs> you could do it to trigger the end game though. If yeah. it was like your sixth one, you're like, you know what? I just want to end it. It's so true. That's, that's not a bad thing to do. So this mission card is out, it is out of the game, out of circulation for me. And then I just, uh, I drop my hand. And this, these get discarded. And these all get discarded. Yes. These go into the discard. So I believe these. No, no, no. They, uh, oh, yeah, they everything, all... everything in your player area that's goes right. into your discard and become. then that's right. shuffle it in. Cool. Right. cool. Done? Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. We have both, we both succeeded. All right. Back to me. I don't have enough money to buy anything too cool. Okay. So I'm going to get started on my next mission. You know, Naveen played a satellite, so I'm going to play my satellite. You going to the moon? Uh, maybe. I don't have to decide that yet. No. <laughs> Even though I said I wasn't going to Earth with this. There's no points there. So, so. this is the mission that I'm going to go ahead and play. 
it costs, it gives me uh, $10 that pays for itself. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my mission spot. Very cool. And then I'm going to play my small rocket boosters, which is the two rocket points to my launch pad. Pays for itself as well. Mm -hmm. As well as my another rocket point. So I have to spend $10 to do that. So, oh, wow. That's a lot of money that I just took out of circulation. I just realized. That's not bad, though. Hmm. You got things going. Might be a problem. But that's it. I'm going to go ahead and discard this. And that ends my turn. Goes to you. Okay, cool. So I also am going to get a mission going, and I'm going to do the Space Hotel. You want to take that? Yeah. Cool. So this is Naveen's next mission. So it pays for itself. Yeah, and you can either go to Earth or the Moon with this. It requires five and seven rocket points specifically. Right. So here you go. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. And so that is going to go here. It pays for itself, like I said. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm going to play my small rocket booster, cool. uh, which pays for itself as well. So yep. that's going to go out there. And then I have 30 bucks to spend. So I'm looking at that designer drugs and I kind of want it. So I'm going to spend these 30 to get this. So it gives you $20. Yeah. And it's another one of those cards where at some point during the game, he can ditch it out of the game in order to take a specific kind of threat card. Yeah. And this one set, it has the uh, kind of the hazard. So mm -hmm. that is the pandemic type one. So I could technically get this one in the future. Right. Or right now. Or right. Oh, no, actually, it has to be in your hand. It has to be in my hand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I will hang on to these two cards here. That's going to be my turn. All right. Yep. Then yep. first I'm going to spend $10 to place another rocket point into my launch pad. So sure. now I am actually ready to launch. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, I take that back. Fail. <laughs> no, I just realized I already have I already have three rocket points. You do? I yep. don't need any more than that. Yep. So instead, what I'll do is I'm going to buy uh, this card, the multi-purpose space suit. It costs $40 plus that computer chip uh, from my cards. And so it's an asset that says uh, I can place this card into my launch pad. And when I'm actually launching a mission, I can essentially discard a mission success card that I didn't like if I pulled a zero and, and as well as this one in order to draw a new one. That's a nice card. So it's a nice way of mitigating those mission su success cards that were terrible. Very nice. Yeah. So here's 20, 30, 40, okay. as well as that uh, computer chip. And there's that. And mm -hmm. then I'm just mm -hmm. going to, oh, here, yeah, fill this for you. Thanks. Big data. And then I'm going to discard this card. And that's it for me. Okay. Uh, that's you. Yeah, my draw was not very good. Okay. Um, unfortunately. So <laughs> I'm going to ditch three cards and end my turn. <gasps> yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just have those turns. I know. Right? Yep. Okay. So I actually draw Five, six. All right, then back to me. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to buy uh, some more cards. More cards. So I'm spending $30. Okay. to buy this card, the super capacitors. Nice. So this actually costs more than that. It's $30 and a computer chip. So I'm going to discard this base. I don't think you can see it, or maybe you can, but I'm discarding that as well. It has a computer symbol on it. And so this is going to give me one of those uh, beaker symbols that we need. Mm -hmm. And it says that on my turn, I can discard this from my hand and as many cards as I wished to essentially draw more of them from my draw deck. So it's a nice way of flushing some cards from my hand Less that I can cards. use in the same turn, Yep. right? Cool. So there's that. Ooh, oh, okay. now we have two threats. Yeah, and so the the these cards are seeded uh, according to the rule book, so we knew that these are going to be coming out. Yes, yeah. the further you go into the deck, the more of these threat cards yep. you'll encounter. And then I'm going to discard this one card, and that'll end my turn. Okay, cool. So Mine is you. going to be a pretty straightforward turn. I am going to spend... 20 okay to put out chip chip into this area here the computer chip symbols Ooh, you're going to earth's orbit yeah yeah you're doing the cheapies and well oh, I, I should have done that to. and then uh, uh -oh. i'm going to discard one card okay okay and then now i have to draw back up so these are going to come in mm. and then shuffle I am worried. You know, that was my failure in past games that we played is i always kind of jump to the next going to the moon planet <laughs> or not planet the moon, I guess, we'll before see. I'm ready. So this might be bad, but we'll see. Because I have to hit 10. 10 spaces. 10 spaces, for yeah. The moon. But you have, if you can get that card, that allows you to mitigate. Yeah, and I wanted this sweet, sweet moon token. So. Moon token. All right. I'm going to spend $10 to place a card into my launch pad. And it is the spaceship. It has the beaker symbol. This okay. one. Nice. So at least now we know where I'm going. You're going to the moon. I'm going to the moon. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to now spend $30 to buy a card from the market. So 
gonna purchase this one. This is government, it's a government contract, which I guess can't be good usually, right? Or maybe it's fantastic for my company. Maybe, yeah. But uh, what this essentially lets me do is it's just giving me money uh, for when I, in the future turns, when I wanna buy something, but the amount of money that I can spend is equal to however many missions I've succeeded. It's $10 per mission. So right now, if I were to use this card, it would just be worth $10 okay. of spending power, right? Cool, okay, uh -oh. we have another one. Third threat, and that's it. That's so it. I'm gonna discard both of these. It goes back to you. Cool, okay, so uh, I am going to be buying big data. So this is the 30, 20, 10, and then big data requires a helix, which I happen to have, a helix. Cool. And so now I have purchased big data. So big data is a good card. Naveen mm -hmm. got that one, which is nice. So it says when you use it to pay, sorry, when you use it to buy a card from the market, mm -hmm. you can uh, put one of them on top of your deck, your yeah. draw deck. So you know you'll be getting that card in the next in the next turn. So yes. I like it. It's good purchasing and it's power. It's a chip and ten bucks. Yeah. It's just like that one right there. Global internet. <laughs> yeah. Wow, global internet. Yep. And then I'm gonna discard uh, one card. And then we're gonna draw back up. Cool. Yep. Done? Yep. All right, back to me. I wasn't even drawing my cards yet. Done drawing my cards, okay. So I'm going to play that government contract that I was talking about earlier. So this right now is worth $10. Yep. In order to put uh, this card into my launch pad. So this has another one of those beaker symbols. Sure. But this is a, this is a card that lets me discard an well, already drawn mission success card if you, it's not good. So if I draw a zero, you can mitigate, yeah. then I can mitigate. Yeah. I'm also going to spend this $10 to put another one of those cards nice. into my launch pad. So now I have three of those beaker symbols. And I'm just going to stack them like this. Are you launch ready? So rocket points to the left, I am launch ready. Oh, boy. And the beaker symbols to the right. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just going to discard this card from my hand and keep this one. So I'm ending my turn and I'm going to try to launch this mission. Cool. As a reminder, this is my mission. It's a satellite, and I am going to the moon. To the moon. So it requires three rocket points, which I have. You have and four total. I'm going to be able to draw four mission success cards. Okay. So, which is technically five, right? Because of that card that allows you to discard your worst. Yeah. Yeah, I would go with that. So, And if you so, are successful, you are the first one to the moon, so you'd get one point at the end of the game. Right. This is my satellite. Satellite, yep. So I'm going to go ahead and place that right there. Yeah, let's put it right there. All right. So. Um, and I have three of these uh, beaker symbols. So I go one, two, three. So you need to get need to make seven, seven total. Okay. Yeah. You ready? And you draw four total? Yep. Okay. Two. Two. Keep one, two. Okay. Keep going? Yeah. Oh, plus three. One, two, three. Wow. Definitely keep going. One. Um. Yeah. I can always. You yeah. can always see the next one and then discard it. Yeah. yeah. One. Ready? Yeah. And then two. Two. You're good. Perfect. Then you need, yeah. need to use that card. Yep. So this was a success. And uh, first thing is the card itself. Yep. So, so the card is, the benefit of the card is another rocket point. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this now since I succeeded with it. And I'm going to flip this, this chit over because now I have two rocket points to spend. And I forgot I had that. Yeah. I didn't need to spend the $10 for no. that mission card. Oh, no. I messed up there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to place this out in on the moon. So I think it's, this one? Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, it's a satellite. So it's two points. Two points. One, two. Okay. You take the moon token. You get the moon token. Yep. So at the end of the game, this can be worth a point. Yep. And I'll just put this off Some right there. Stuff. Yeah. And then I discard all my stuff. And that's it. Very good. That's it for my mission. That mission is out. And okay. that was a ten dollar. So I'm kind of slowly culling the ten dollars out. I'm trying yeah. to leave the twenties in. I don't know. Okay, so, uh, sorry, uh, I am going to try to set up for a launch. So I have 30 bucks to spend, and so I'm going to put in 10, 10, 10 right here. So this is going to be two rocket ships, okay. as well as one wild, uh, that research institute, one wild symbol. So we'll do, so that was for 30, so it's 10, 10, and 10 from my 30. Okay. And so now, uh, I, whoops, I'm going to discard this card as one of my uh, actions. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm going to go ahead and try attempt to a launch. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to try to go for a space hotel in Earth's orbit. Yes. So Naveen met the five rocket points, Earth, and you get to draw three mission I success do. cards. Yeah, and I get to bump up on the track three spaces. Uh, computer, computer, and then wild, which will represent computer. Perfect. One, two, three. So you're going to... The I'm moon? trying to put, uh, no, Earth. Oh, Earth, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to stay local. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be this piece right here. All right. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So go ahead and place right there. All right. So you really just need to make up five 
Five advancements Yeah, here. so that needs to be shuffled. Okay, and how many cards do you get to draw? Three. Okay. Three. So we pretty much are familiar now with the, the anatomy of a, a mission card. So we'll just so kind of push. We'll, we'll just kind of talk through them uh, from here on out. All right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> no first card. Two. two. Good, keep One, going. two, keep going. Yep. One. One. Oh okay, my gosh. Nadine. You gotta go. All right. You have to go. Two. two. Okay. One, One, two. two. Wow, you hit it. Nice. You hit it. Barely. You got real lucky there. Wow. Okay. All right, cool. So um, let's get the reward. The reward is a token that is a ongoing every single turn. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And so what I would happen is every time I spend it, I flip it over at the beginning of every turn. I reflip it over and I always have 20 bucks to spend. That is so nice. That is something that I was really wanting to gun for. So I have that now in my arsenal. Uh, we're going to come down here and I get three victory points. One, two, three. <gasps> We are tied. We are tied. And now I have 20 to spend. I don't get to spend that now because it's the end of my turn. Amazing. And I don't think there's anything else for me to do other than get rid of this. I don't need that anymore. So I draw I draw my one card, and then we have to shuffle. Ah, that's real good. So then this goes back. That's Congratulations. We both you. have sent out two missions two. each. You are in two different locations. So even if I was to put out all six, I'd have to be in all three locations. You're... Each location has to have one mission at least on each. Correct. So I mean, somebody needs to go to Mars. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Okay, I'm just going to spend my entire hand. Wow. <laughs> so it's 50 bucks, 20, 30, 40, 50, as well as this computer item in order to purchase an engine. So this is the large rocket boosters. We bought small ones, so these are now large ones. Okay. And so these cost $50, and this is the wild, so any symbol really. And all it does is it gives me three rocket points. So I'm gearing up to try to achieve missions that are a little bit more rocket heavy, stuff. rocket point heavy. I need to remember that I have that though, two rocket points. And I'm discarding this out of my hand. That's the end of my turn, so it goes back to you. And if you did not stick around for the teach, uh, we're about a third of the way through the game, but I do want to mention that these components that we're using for the actual missions, mm -hmm. these are upgraded bits. They do not come with the base game. Right. The base game has uh, chits that work, you know, just as fine, but mm -hmm. these are these are neat. So we decided to use <laughs> they them. They are neat. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my next mission. Okay. And so I'm going to set up a spaceship mission, and it's going to go there. It's going to cost me ten, so I will spend uh, this ten right here. Cool. All right. Okay, so now I am going to spend 20, uh, 30, 40, 50, and this chip symbol to get one of these because I'm kind of jealous of money. <laughs> I'm kind of doing that. There you go. I might so, buy them all. So. So exactly, yeah. <laughs> so that's that. So that goes out there, and then I have two cards in my hand. I'm going to ditch them. I'm just going to ditch them. Yeah? So that, yeah, start, you don't a need little, them? start a little while. Well, I don't know. I probably need them, but I'm going to start fresh. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be me. Cool. Yep. All right, so back to me. I'm going to get started with my next mission. I'm going to play the Space Hotel card. So cool. this is a $10 up there, so it's going to pay for itself. And it's a Space Hotel, just like Naveen's, but I can send it to either Earth's orbit or the moon. I haven't decided where yet. Mm -hmm. But it's nice because I really was jealous of that $20 benefit that you had there. It's nice. I'm going to spend these $20 to place cards into my launch pad. I'm spending, I'm gonna place both of these cards into my launch pad. They are both the computer symbol. So now you all know where I'm going. Sure. And yeah. yes, even though Naveen was already there first, I can still, two points is still not bad. Don't forget, we also have hidden objective cards that she yes. could be trying to gun for. That's so. true. Uh, Don't be fooled by this. <laughs> and I'm gonna discard my last card. Okay. Back to you. All right. So I uh, definitely wanna put out this uh, rocket ship onto uh, my launch pad for free because it costs 10 it has 10 on it cool all right i'll i'll do this since these are worth points i'm going to buy some points right now so i have 20 yep uh 30 40 uh 50 so it's going to cost me 50 and a helix symbol which i happen to have yes so it's going to be 30 so, there yeah. i flip this tile over to make to be 50 Plus my helix symbol. Yeah, Naveen is purchasing this threat this threat card. That threat card. It is a pandemic. Yes. So this is a fifty dollars plus the the helix symbol. Naveen is not at this seven points yet, so he does not have to pay the extra I money. Now's the time for that. 
but it's going to be worth three points, actually, at yeah. the end of the game. Two plus the one because of the uh, Earth Summit that's there. But this is going to clog up my hand, so yes. I better find some culling cards. Now, Naveen, I think you bought a card earlier. I, I think I do. I don't. I can't remember for some reason. <laughs> you haven't pulled it in a long time? I've been just using it for the top left symbol, so I, I can't quite remember. So this is going to fill in here. Yeah, if he calls that card out of his hand, you'll still get points for it at the end of the game. Exactly. So, and then I still have some, some money to spend, so I'm going to spend 10 to put my Research Institute in to this location nice. right over there. And so now I am completely out of cards, so I am done. I'm going to draw back up. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so I debated buying a card from the market, but I think I'm just going to focus on launching this mission because it's going to give me that $20, which will be nice to buy cards in the future. Yeah, it's really good. So I'm going to uh, play both of my engine cards. I know they're the exact same engine, but that's okay. They're both going to go into my launch pad. The only cards that you cannot have duplicates of in your launch pad are the assets. Mm -hmm. So these are going to pay for themselves. Very good. So now I have enough uh, rocket points. I have two, four, six. And my mission to Earth orbit requires only five. So that's that. That is it. <laughs> and I'm going to hold on to these three cards and ditch this one. So I'm going to launch this mission. Cool. Uh, this is my space hotel. Let's just go ahead and pop this up on the screen, just so you can follow along. I'm going to Earth's orbit. It requires me to have five rocket points, which I have six, so this is going to launch. And I can draw three mission success cards. That's the $20 I was talking about. And it's neat because it's going to take this $10 item, essentially, out of circulation, which is fine because we're a little bit further along in the game. Yeah, $10 so is nice early. Yeah, but now I can pull the $20 faster, right? Because it is still a deck builder. Totally. Okay, so I have these two computer symbols. So I'll go bump, bump, and it's going? a space. Earth? Oh, so I'm going Earth. Just Earth. That's okay. it. Do you have any modifiers? You don't have that modifier card that allows you. No, I didn't play that. That's okay. Oh well. It is what it we is. We have to make up six. Six. Yeah. So you pull three total, right? Three total. Ready? One. Uh oh. One. Okay, ready? Keep going. Hold on. <laughs> now you're making me nervous. One, two, three, four, five is what you need to get. So. Okay, do another one. Three. There you go. One, two, three. Oh, here goes that thing. Am I going to pull a two? Is the question. You know what? I really, really do not want to have to start this mission over. Mm, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to abort. Okay. You're so aborting officially. I'm aborting. Do you want to see what it would have been? Yes. I think everybody should see what it would have been. And it's a one. There you go. One. Good abort. <laughs> I would have lost. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel better about that. Yeah. So, which means I did draw these two. Yep. So I have to discard one card from my launch pad. Mm. <sighs> I'll discard one of my small rocket boosters. Sure. Because it, It'll come back though. It'll come back. Potentially, yeah. And it can pay for itself when it comes back. Gosh. Well, that was a good abort. I was gearing up to for that to be a success. I know. <laughs> All right, so it goes back to you. Back to me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Gosh. Okay, the first thing I know I'm going to do is I'm going to ditch base because <laughs> it has no benefit <laughs> and it's not going to help me right now. It's not a mission I'm working towards. All right, discarding, discarding. for your first action, I that's, see. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, there, I, I'm looking at this one, this asteroid laser ablation. Maybe yeah. I want that for the 20 bucks. So I have 20 to play. Okay. Uh, so it'll be 20 plus 10. So that's 30. So I'm going to flip this over. So that's 20 such plus a nice 10. reward. And I'll take this card to go there. Yeah, and all that card is, is it's uh, $20 to spend, but it's also another one of those asset cards where in the future you can ditch it out of the game to take a specific threat card. It's this one specifically. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Oh. Backup systems. During Did launch, advance your marker one space on the mission oh, track. Oh, that is such a nice card. <sighs> For me? For me. <sighs> So it does have the chip symbol, which which means Earth symbols. Uh, okay. So uh, <laughs> no, but it doesn't it doesn't matter because during launch you advance your marker once you're on risk charts. It doesn't matter uh, where you're going. The problem is I overspent. Oh. <laughs> forty. I don't have forty. It's nice because if you use this card to go to Earth, then it's two bump ups because yeah. it's one for the symbol the and then one for the benefit yeah it's looking like it's not gonna come to me so uh <laughs> i'm gonna spend 10 to put one of my flasks here so yeah. i'm basically telegraphing that i am going to the moon i'm gonna ditch this card and i'm gonna hang on to this card right here and okay. that's my turn right there so now all right this comes over yep all right so it goes to me and i'm going to try to restore my uh, launch pad to its former glory cool i'm going to spend the ten dollars to put a one rocket point there so now it's at exactly five this time nice. two four five last time i was a little bit overpaying and then i'm going to buy that beautiful card this one 
Okay. The backup systems that we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah. It just costs 40 bucks. So here's $20 and then my government contract, which is worth 20 now because I've completed two missions. Yep. So that's $40 for the backup systems. Yeah. And Ooh, now pink we have cards are in. It's a pink asset. This is literally the same card that I have, uh, the Research Institute, but just a pink version of it. Yes. And so if you don't remember what that is, is it doesn't have any special benefit. It just has a wild item so that you can use it uh, when doing anything that requires symbols, yep, exactly. essentially. Yep. And then I'm just going to discard my hand okay. because I am not comfortable launching in the exact same state that I was in when I had Plus, you, you just got that card that allows you the one bump. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I could use that. So, okay. Back to you. Okay. Well, for sure, I want to discard the pandemic card. That's a no-brainer. No That's just clogging up my hand. Yep. So I'm going to ditch three cards. Okay. So all these are ditched. And then now I have 20... Uh, and then I have this designer drugs, 40. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to buy another research institute. So it's going to be my 20. Nice. And then this this makes it 40. Now, I cannot uh, in the future have this one and this research institute in the same launch pad. Yes, they can't have the same name. They can't have the same name, even though they're different colors. But this is very useful towards potentially uh, doing this right here. Or I can use this towards buying another card that requires some sort of symbol. Yeah, so. it's a wild symbol. It's a wild so. symbol. So. Very, many uses for many it. Many uses, that's that. All right, AI. This card, you, if you have it in your hand, you can discard it in order to look through your deck for any specific card that you want. That's pretty nice. That's nice. Uh, so that is my turn. I'm gonna hang on to this card here and then we're gonna draw back up. Cool, all right. So I'm going to start my turn by um, discarding my super capacitors for its uh, effect down okay. here, which says I can discard it and as many cards as I wish from my hand and then draw the same number from my draw deck, including nice. one for this card itself. So I'm going to discard this one, two, three, four. Okay. Four cards to draw them from here. One, two, three, four. Ooh. It's annoying because there is one mission card in our hand. I think there might be two. Maybe just one. Okay. But it's literally just a mission card. There's it's, no, yeah. there's nothing at the top left hand corner. So it doesn't do anything else for you if you're not using it as a mission. And the mission itself is really hard to achieve. It's, yes. So it just clogs your hand for a long time. So I'm going to spend $10 to put my backup systems into play. Nice. So that's going to give me, I'm going to be able to launch this mission uh, this turn. Totally. And then I have some money. I have additional money that I could spend. Is it time to buy a pandemic card, Monique? No, I don't have that much money. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could buy this one. Place a card on... Oh, that's not bad. I'm going to buy the Global Internet. It costs $30, so let me show it to you. This is a Global Internet. It costs $30 and um, a flask symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and spend... Here's $30 and that symbol right there. Okay. And so what it lets you do is when you use it to pay... To buy something, you can place a card uh, on your mission or launch pad for free. Nice. So it's kind of like a twofer. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, there oh, we go. Another one of That's those. That's another threat card. It's not good for me. Uh, and then I'm going to just hold on to this and launch my mission. Cool. So I'm launching my space hotel. Okay. And I'm going to go to Earth orbit. This Again. is the one that, that I tried to launch this before, right? This is the one you <laughs> aborted, but you aborted correctly. Yes, we're doing, we're going to make it this time. Okay. So to go to Earth, I need five rocket points. I have two, four, five. So this is going to go. And where, where's my space hotel? Is this it? It's the one that I'm, yeah, that I've already done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have one, two, three, four um, advancements. One, two, three, four. Wow. It's got the three symbols and then my backup systems just lets me, if it's in my launch pad, I can advance my marker one space one. already. That's a really nice card. And then I can draw three mission success cards. Okay, one. One. I don't like that. Keep okay, going. keep going. Two. Two. Okay. This needs to not be a zero. A zero. So there is two zeros and four ones. You're Let's doing it, right? do it. You're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. Two. Done. All right. We did it. Nice. That would have been terrible if I drew a zero. I know. How'd you do a zero? Okay. So this is going to give me that $20, a sweet, sweet $20 benefit that Naveen has been using. Mm -hmm. And uh, nice card. Yeah. this would go out. And now I get to place this here. Yep. So you get two I was points. not first, unfortunately, but it's going to give me my two points. One, two. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. So all this gets discarded. And now it is your turn. So I have three missions out. And nobody is in Mars yet. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to spend 10 to uh, put this three-level rocket ship into my launch pad. Okay. All right, and then I, I have 20, 50, 60, 70, 80 to spend. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to spend 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. And the chip of, from Big Data to buy this one, which is detailed planning. 
And so my big data, what it says is when I use this card to pay for other cards, the card I buy can go on the top of my HQ. So I know I'm going to get this card in the next round. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then so I'm buying this card here. And so this is detailed planning, the card that Naveen is going to buy. And so this says that if he places it in his launch pad, because that's what that keyword says, um, during launch, he gets to draw three mission success cards and choose one of them to be the first card he draws. The other two will get discarded. Yep. And if that mission uh, turns out to be successful, this card goes out of the game. Out of the game. So it's, it's a little a one, bit of like a, a front-on investment, but yeah. maybe if you use it for like a really big mission, it'll exactly. be worth it. Exactly. Right? So then we're going to flip over a card. Cool. And, and that went on top of your deck. That did go on top of my deck. Okay. I still have money to spend. So uh, this looks like a decent card. Oh, this is a storage battery. So it allows me to remove one card. I have one of those already. So it's funny because I'm going to be spending a storage battery and this card. So for 40 to buy this one. right. You're going to buy it? I'm going to buy it. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Culling cards. So. I think there's only two of those in the whole <laughs> deck. And Naveen just monopolized it. I need it. <laughs> he took the me. monopoly <laughs> on the culling cards the in a deck building cards. game. Yes. Uh, all right, that's me. All right, I am going to probably get started uh, with a mission. Yeah. So I'm going to play my another space hotel. Okay. Uh, so this is very similar to the last one that I played because I already have a space hotel out here. So we know for sure you're going to the moon with it. We're, I'm, yeah, we know yeah. for sure I'm going to the moon because I've already gone to Earth's orbit yep. with it. So there's that. And it's another one of those that will give me $20. I don't know why. I'm just yeah. money hungry. It pays hungry, for itself also, I guess. Yes, it time. pays for itself. Yep. And then... I'm going to place a small rocket booster in my launch pad, pays for itself. And then I'm going to spend uh, $10 to place my large rocket boosters nice. into my launch pad. So, so you have a total of seven, right? I have a total of seven. So I'm technically ready to launch, but right. I don't have any symbols to give me a bump up on the advancement, yeah. which we've learned is a bad thing. You definitely need those. So I'm going to keep going with my turn. Okay. And, oh, I, fortunately, I can't. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Well, you can buy this, right? Because you have yeah, how much money. It depends I on how much money you wanted have. something else, but I realized I don't have any cards that have symbols on them. Mm. So I will do that. I'm going to spend the $20 from my achievement token. Which that's what those are called. Yep. And the additional 30 from my hand to buy industrial espionage. So this is industrial espionage. It just costs 50 bucks. And what it does is I can place it into my launch pad so that when I launch the mission, I can select one card from my opponent's launch pad to copy until the end of that attempt. Nice. So if Naveen has something so like- So like I have these flasks here. Yes, so if so. I were to play that, well, when Naveen has these flasks, I can use one of them to to help myself, yeah, essentially. That's pretty good. So that's that. Very nice. And another, another threat card. Another threat card. That's oh. climate change. Okay, to start my turn, I definitely gonna get rid of two of these cards. One is a base card, which has no benefits. Yeah. And then of course a pandemic card, which is the, the threat. clogger. It's clogging up my hand, so I need to get rid of it. Um, and then now I have 20 and 30 to spend. Is there anything here that I can do useful? Yeah, as you get uh, further and further into the game, you have more of these threat cards that are out. So They're kind of not helping us with the deck building. we got to yeah. get rid of these. So. you got to launch missions. That yeah. You can do. Okay, so I am going to spend, I'm going to overspend and spend my full 20 okay. uh, to put out that detailed planning card that I just earned earlier. Nice. So that's going to now come over here, and that's going to allow me to do that whole thing where I can mitigate, uh, a little bit mitigation. Cool. I'm going to discard one more card, and then I'm going to hang on to these two cards here in my hand. Okay. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and launch. I think this is the time to do it. Might as well. All right. All right. So I have uh, this mission card requires five rockets. So I have three, five, six. So You're I going have, to the moon? I'm going to the moon, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have uh, two flasks. One is the wild and one is the actual flask. Wait, what are you launching? A spaceship? Uh, I am launching, yes. I am launching one of these. So you're going to place that right there. Yeah. So and I'm then, to get there. Uh, so you have enough rocket points. This I is do. going to launch. How many two. advancements? Wow, so you need to rank up eight. Yeah, eight. But I get to draw four, and I have that detailed planning. So it says, during launch, draw three cards from the mission success deck. Are Choose you going one. to use that now? Uh, I will not do it right. Because if it succeeds, that ga that card is out of your deck. So this does not say at the beginning of launch. So I could technically see the first card and then make a decision about this after. It says to choose one to be your first card. Oh, there we go. There it is. You have to continue reading. So uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So yes, I will. I'm going to use it. I'm, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. You want to use it on Mars? I don't know. Let's right. just do it now. Cool. So um, <laughs> I bought it to use it. So you can use it now. Yeah, let's do it. So right, draw, so draw three. three. Come on. One, four. 
Or zero. Oh, wow, perfect. that's so nice. So I'm. That's wow. That's great. That is perfect right I'm there. I'm assuming you're discarding I'm these. Discarding those, and okay. uh, I'm taking four. <laughs> cool. One, two, three, four. Uh, so this is out of the game because. Well, of that. you don't know yet. We don't. Oh, as long as I'm successful. That's, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. So uh, how many cards do you get to draw total? Four. All right. So, so keep, keep going. going. Yep. Three. One, two, three. Definitely gonna keep going. Two. You're oh successful. wow. Okay. So, so now gets, this card is out. Yeah, that's out. Amazing. You succeeded. Good Ooh. job. Okay. <laughs> so I'm there. Uh, then the benefit I get is a rocket ship. So this get is going to flip point. over to a two. Yep. Nice. Uh, this is going to the moon. The right? moon, yeah. So it's going to be this one yeah, for the three. First, first uh, spaceship yeah. to go there. So I just points. made things more expensive for me. One, two, three. So Naveen is now on that orange threshold. Each threat card you purchase is worth is uh, going to cost 10 additional. Yeah. Instead of it being minutes. 50, it's now 60 to me. So. Yeah. That's that. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, so, discard. discard. This spaceship is out of the game for me. These all go into my discard pile. Cool. And I believe that was everything there. Yeah. You gave me the points already? I did. Okay, cool. That's me. All right. So then, well, I debated buying stuff on the market, but I think I'm just going to try to launch this mission. Nice. Okay. Because that is the name of the game. Let's do at it. At the end of the day. Let's see it. Uh, I'm going to play. I need to spend $30. So there's 20 Okay. And here's 10. Okay. So that's 30 total. So that I could play three cards to my launch pad. So it's going to be my multi purpose spacesuit, um, another just mission card that has a symbol for yeah. the moon, and my backup systems. So it does not have the flask, but it does let me let, advance my The marker. one spot. That's nice. The one spot. So it's Very 30 nice. of those. And I'm just going to ditch this one card and keep this one in my hand. So I believe I'm just going to try to launch. Okay, cool. So you get, how many bumps do you get total? So this is the space hotel. I'm going to the moon. It requires me to have seven rocket points. I have three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So it's going to launch. Yep. And I can move up three advancements. Nice. So one, two, three. Oh. Do you have anything to mitigate? Is there yes, any mitigation? Yes, the multi-purpose space suit. Okay, what does that do? That lets me discard a, a mission success card that I drew. Nice. So if I draw a zero, I can say, nope, zero not one, today. Or any card that you don't like, yeah. Yeah, and that is my space hotel. So this is my other space the hotel. The other space hotel, yeah. Trying to go to the moon. Good luck. Thank you. All right, you ready? I can draw four. Yeah, ready? Yeah. One. A oh, zero. No, okay. no, ditch okay. that. Ditch that. Yes, That's so that. I discard this card wow. to ditch that. Okay. 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 <laughs> Did you move your one? Because uh, you started with one, two, three, right? I said, yeah, one, two, three, you're right. Yeah, okay, there you I go. I was going to short myself uh -huh. there. Ready? Yep. Three, there three, you go. Three, one, two, three. Let's yeah, see two that more cards four. You want to go, right? Yeah, keep going. Yeah. One. Oh, oh wow. My okay. God. This is tight. Here we go again. <laughs> with the two away. In the margins, yeah. I, if I recall correctly, at the start of this game, that's what caused me to fail. The two away. Okay, so the way I see it is you've, there's three other threes, there's one four, all the twos are in. Yeah. Uh, you've already pulled one zero, and you've pulled two of the five ones. So, I mean, the. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, chances are. Oh, let's got, do it. Okay, fine. It. Let's do it. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Two, there you go, perfect. You oh my it. gosh, yeah. that was close. That was... It, it just hit it yeah. exactly. Okay, nice. So I'm Success. gonna get the, the twenty dollars of the mission. More money for Monique. More moolah. This goes out. Yes. It is a space hotel on the moon. Cool. So I'm the first one there. So it's worth four, four points. Oh, things are more expensive for you too. One, two, three, four. Yeah, threats are more expensive now, and this gets discarded. There you go. Out. Thank yeah. you for pulling those cards for me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So I have. Four missions out. You have four. Two more. Out. If I can get two more out and somebody in on Mars, then the game will end. That's right. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Cool. So that's the end of my turn. It goes back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I should set up a mission card. Okay. I, I should set up a mission. Card. So yeah. I'm going to play the space station here, and it's going to cost me ten. So I will spend this ten here. Mm -hmm. It goes out, and so now the space station, I'm telegraphing that I'm going to Earth because it's the only spot that's there. It requires seven rocket ships, uh, but it's the, the, the best uh, one at Earth. Okay. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to spend my designer drugs to actually claim one of these uh, asteroid cards. They're not asteroid, uh, threat cards. So ah, it's so... specifically for the pandemic one, so I'm going to take it. So instead of spending money, I'm going to spend the card. This is what it looks like. Yep. So Naveen is going to discard this to take a threat with that symbol at the top and right it's this corner. one right here. This is, it has to be this one. Yes, yeah, so it's this. Yep. And so because I have that, it's worth two points at the end of the game, plus actually technically one more because of the uh, the variation of the game. So yeah. I'll take it. So this is now out. That is out of the game. Out yeah. of the game. There you go. Cool. 
And so, ooh, ooh, what is that? Fusion reactor. So if you put in your launch pad, it stays in your launch pad permanently. You never have to discard it, but you still have to pay the 10 to mm -hmm. put it in there initially. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, remove any number of cards from the game from your hand. For each card removed this way, you get $10 until the end of turn. And I believe if you remove a threat card from your hand, you still get those points. You still points. get the points. Yep, yeah, exactly. So that's well, nice. That's really nice. Okay, and then I have this 20 here, so I'm going to spend it uh, fully to put in my research institute okay. into play, into my launch pad, and an orbital shipyard also here. So now I have... Something working towards this goal over here. Very good. And uh, I'm going to discard this card out of my out of my hand. So that's that. There's nothing to draw. So this is going to come over here. We flip, and we shuffle this. We shuffle. That's that. Okay. All right. So I am going to. This is going to be a collecting turn for me. Although I think you might have taken the card that I was looking at. Oh. Uh, nice. Well. You know what? I'm going to, to play my super capacitors because my discard ability for this lets me discard as many cards as I want from my hand to sure. draw that many up. So it's going to be one, these three. Uh, I'm essentially basically just trying to look for more money. Yeah. That so makes there's sense. one, and then I have to reshuffle this for two more. Cool. And I think I'm just going to buy one card okay. and maybe hold some money back for later. Uh, I'm going to buy a large. Oh, Ooh. should I buy? Should I just buy this? It's $70. I might as well. I have $40 here. Let's do it. $20, 40 Okay. Oops, that was a two. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm just going to buy this one. So 50 and a uh, an item. So this this computer item, I suppose. Okay. And so I'm going to buy the large rocket boosters. Oh they are no more. You have to buy the ion drive if you want an engine. Sure. And I'm trying to gear up for more rockets to try to go to Mars eventually. Okay. Now I just told Naveed my plan. <laughs> so I'm going to discard this That's card. <laughs> as well as this one and that's that and my turn cool so very good back to you okay back to me okay for sure i know i'm gonna get rid of this pandemic card and it's just clogging up my hand but there are points at the end of the game okay uh, so and then i'm gonna play my small rocket booster into uh my launch pad for free or technically it pays for itself okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spend my 20 token mm -hmm. plus this 10 here and I'm going to take this AI card. No. There you go. So this is the AI card. And uh, it has that, that swirl, the DNA symbol, which is nice because that helps you go to Mars. Yep. But the benefit here is he can discard it from his hand to search. This is the one where you can search through your deck for a specific card. Find the one you and, want. Yeah, find the one that you want, basically. Yeah. So that goes there. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Oh, and that required me, by the way, thirty plus a symbol. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend this symbol right here. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yep. I'm gonna ditch another card, and then now I will. Uh, I don't have enough to launch, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw up to my hand limit. Okay. Ah, so back to me. I really wanted that card, but I didn't have a symbol at the time oh. that would allow me to take it. Nice. So now I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna get started with a mission. So I'm gonna spend the twenty dollars from this chip to pay for the mission. Okay. So that is a mission that can go to the moon or Mars, and it is for the my base. Uh, oh, I only have one of these, only huh? one of them, yeah. Hold on. I am not ready to <laughs> okay. do that. Actually, you know what? This is the wrong, yeah, this is not wrong even, one. this that's is this. One. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I can still play that. Yep. So same same thing that I was saying. <laughs> so $20, more, yeah. $10 for this, and that would, uh, let me put out one of these. And so that's either to the moon or Mars. Mm -hmm. And for with the other ten dollars, I'm going to play a card to my launch pad. Sure. My backup systems, because this is a card that allows me to just advance my marker one space on the mission track. Since I don't think I have a whole lot of these cards, well, I don't necessarily know. Actually, no, I don't necessarily know that I'm going to Mars. So anyway, either way, it's going to be beneficial for that sure. reason. Then I'm going to uh, play my small rocket boosters okay. to my launch pad. It pays for itself. So now I have two, four rocket points. Yep. And it looks like minimum is 10 rocket yeah. points to go anywhere with that base. And you know what? I might as well play my second small rocket boosters. Okay. So now I have six rocket points. And with the rest of my cards, I'm going to spend 20 plus 40, because now I've completed uh, four missions, and that's the government contract, sure. plus 10. So 70 with a an item on it, so I can buy an ion oh, drive. Oh, wow. You're so ready. The, You're the, gearing up. Yeah, the ion drive just gives me four rocket points to spend in wow. the future. Wow, wow. So that's it. I'm ending my turn, and it goes back to you. Okay. I'm gearing up. You are gearing for up. For lunch. 
I think I'm going to play my storage batteries. And this says, if I discard this card, I can remove one card from the game. It Ooh. can either come from my hand or from the warehouse. And I believe I have a pandemic card in the warehouse. And then if I do that, I draw one card uh, from my HQ, which is my draw deck. So let's get rid of that pandemic card. I will still score it at the end of the game. It's just not clogging up my hand okay. anymore. So that's that. Uh, because I did that, I get to draw a card. Oops, there we go. I'm sorry, this was like that. Nice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play this big data card. It's going to be 10, so it's going to pay for itself plus a chip. So I'm just going to put it in here uh, because I know I am doing this earth path, so I want to get that going. Uh, yeah. This earth path. Yes. And yeah. then uh, I have I have 20 to spend this year, so I'm going to spend this 20. I'm going to flip it over. Okay. And I'm going to put out my level 3 rockets plus yeah. this uh, base card, which is just another chip. Cool. So we're, we're, we're moving. Is it called Level 3 Rockets? I'm calling it that. I don't know. Ah. It's, it's the uh, Large Rocket Booster. Oh, okay. Yes. So the larger version of the small Rocket <laughs> That's Booster. That's right, yeah. I'm going to discard two cards then. Okay. Hang on to this one. And then now I think I am ready for launch. Oh, okay. Here so we go. So it needs seven. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I definitely have enough. And it is your space station? It is my space station. So it is, what does it look like? Yeah. Yes, that's your space station. That looks right. Yeah. So that's gonna go here. Cool. So and you, you I, met you met the seven rocket points. Yeah, I have points. eight total. So I have one, two, three chips. So one, two, three. Yep, exactly. No, any any card text that'll uh, allow you to help. No. 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 All right. So how many uh, mission success cards? Uh, three. 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 Yeah. Okay. So I just so, need to get what well, one, two, three, four, five. I just need to get five. Ready? Can, yes. Just no zeros. Okay. First card. Three. three. One, two, three. We're gonna keep, keep going. Moving, yep. <laughs> okay. Zero. Zero. Oh my god. So now you're gosh. in this situation. I'm going for it. You're gonna go for you, it? I have to go for it. All right. Three. three. Okay, good. Nice. Yes. You One, overshot. Two. So overshot. very good. Okay, so what's your what's your benefit? Uh, my benefit is I get this science token, which is an <gasps> ongoing uh, any symbol. Yeah. That's every awesome. turn, every turn, I have at least one extra symbol. Yeah, so you can use it like to purchase cards, exactly, and such. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So that's there, and then uh, that is going to come here. So you get three points. Three points one, two. Oh no, wait. Where I'm red. You? Here, I'm red. Well, where was I? You're at ten. Ten. Yes. There. One, two, three. Yep. There I was go. trying to uh, further my own You're agenda. To take your own <laughs> points. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that is that. Uh, this card is now out of the game. Out of the game. Yeah. And that is that. So then uh, I believe that was everything, right? Yep. That's that. Cool. So now back to me. Well, first things first, I am going to do my own uh, switcher. Oh, actually, do I even have? Yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ditch my solar energy card to take that threat from the display, which is a climate change card. So nice. this goes out of the game. Cool. And now I have my own threat card in my okay. circulation. Immediately fill in. Yeah. So this is a wireless power transfer. When used to pay, take one card from your warehouse and place it on top of your deck. Okay. Your deck is called Headquarters, by headquarters, the way, yeah. so sometimes you'll see HQ on there, that's what that means. And then I'm going to spend uh, $20 from my supply there to place a card into my launch pad. It just has that the, the flask because I am probably going to the moon. Okay. And that's what it requires. Right. And for the, the second card, since it was $20, I'm going to place my multi-purpose spacesuit. Yeah, it's a really good card. Yes. Uh, let's see, how many rocket points do I have? I have two, four, six, so I need... You need four more. I need four more. I'm just going to spend this uh, chit over here, okay. the $20, to, to place another uh, rocket, the, uh, the large rocket booster. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just need one more in there to be able to launch the, the mission. But uh, I don't get any change. I overpaid a little bit, but at least I get to keep these cards nice. in my hand. And yep. that was the whole goal of that. So that's it for me. Okay, I think I'm going to establish uh, a mission. So I'm going to play the Space Hotel. Okay. And so I'm clearly going to the moon with this one because I have a Space Hotel here and uh, you're there. So this costs uh, 10 to me, which is free technically. Okay. Uh, I will discard this base card because the base card has no powers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend my $10 from the satellite to put out one of my research institutes. So that'll help me uh, with progressing. And I'm going to go ahead and discard another one. And then that's good. That's going to be my turn. Okay. I'm, I'm going to wrap there. Yeah. So I'm just going to draw back up. Done. So the card that you have in your launch pad, uh -huh. it's just the, the wild science symbol. Yes. Perfect. 
Okay. Because you're going to do it. Oh, I am it. going to use it. Dang it. So I'm going to spend this $20 to place two cards into my launch pad. One is gonna be that industrial espionage. So this lets me copy one card from his launch pad when I launch, nice. which will probably be now. Okay. And the second one is my, another large rocket booster. So I went a little bit overboard with sure. the rockets. I have three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, which is fine. And then I'm just going to discard, hmm, I'll discard one, one card. Okay. The base that doesn't have anything on it. Sure. <laughs> or maybe, Maybe I keep it. Maybe I keep it and start. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to it. To move on to the next one. Yeah, Yeah, because it's going to be my, this is my fifth mission. So I'm probably going to want to go big for the last one. Yeah, you're right. Going to, totally. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to try to launch this mission. So I'm going to, I'm going to the moon. Okay. I, I already hit the 10, right? rocket points. Yep. So this is for a base. One of my two bases. Go into the moon. And I have, let's see, how many... Of these, you have a lot of cards. The flasks, right? Yep. So this is going to copy that. So Which, I have one, one, two, two, three, and four because four this members. has yep. my backup systems. So one, two, three, four. Very good. And I also have this card here that lets me discard it to get rid of the lowest. To get one. rid of the the, the one that you don't like. Card. Yet. Yeah. Ready? Yep. One. <gasps> Do I discard it now? Let's just keep going. Okay. Ready? One. Okay. Keep going. Two. One, two. Oh no. Oh no, I'm still doing pretty well. Keep going. Three. One, two, three. One, success. two, three. All right. No need. That was a success. No need. So this is going to increase my hand capacity. So that is the benefit of this uh, card or this mission. Yep. So I get plus one. This goes out of the game. So instead of drawing up six, you drop to seven now. Right. And it is a base. So I was the first five one points. to go there. So it's five points. I'm you're blue. blue. Yep, you're underneath. Yes, this goes to 15. 15. And now threats are super expensive. They're 10, 20, 40 dollars more plus two symbols. Yeah. Expensive. It's quite expensive, yeah. And that's that. So these are all get discarded and it goes to you. Back to me. Okay. Yes. So as soon as if I'm able to put out my last mission in Mars, in Mars specifically. that's going to end the, the game. Naveen would have that one more turn since I went first yes. and then the game would be over. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to discard my AI card. This doesn't mean I trash it. It just goes into the discard pile. Yep. And it says basically search my HQ for any card, take it into my hand, and then shuffle the HQ. What are you going to guess? So, I don't know. Let's see what's in there. Maybe oh, something cool. I thought you had a card in mind. as you know, That's why you were discarding the, that card. Okay, I'm definitely going to take this one into my hands. Okay. Right here. And uh, since I took it into my hands, I am going to play it. It's the Asteroid Laser Ablation. It says, cool. uh, discard this card to take this card. And, and nice. so now I have another, another one of those. Another this one goes threat. out of the game for me, though. Cool. Yep. Uh, you have to, did you shuffle this? I do have to shuffle Yeah, you have it. to yeah. shuffle yeah. Your, your draw deck. So that got replaced by the depot. So you put this in your launch pad. It stays there for the whole game. You can use the depot once per turn. Place any card for free from your hand onto it. Or you take all cards from your depot to hand. So it's basically like a holding zone mm -hmm. for cards that are in your hand that you don't want to keep in your hand to, to stay clogged, right? right? Right. Okay, so I'm going to get my large rocket booster out into my launch pad. It's going to cost me 10, and I'm going to use my big data card to, to pay it for it. Okay. Okay. And then I have 20 left to pay, uh, so I am going to... Flip this card, uh, this over. Yep, your achievement token. I'm going to put out this flask right here to help me. And then I'm also going to put out another ship there. So that's my 20. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven in order to <gasps> One launch. short? Yeah, one I'm one short. Rocket point. I'm going to ditch this last card also right here. I don't need okay. it right now. Cool. And I don't even think, think there was a point for me to shuffle because there's only five here. <laughs> two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. No, it was all six, but I didn't have to shuffle it anyway. So okay. there we go. That's me. All right, so back to me. I'm going to get started on my final mission because Naveen kind of varied up his strategy from what I've been observing. Like you're kind of dipping into the points with the threat cards and all that. I'm just going missions. Yeah. So if I don't try to rush this final mission, then I'm definitely not going to be in the running. Mm -hmm. So it's unfortunate because I have $40 here and I technically have $60 here. But what I need is a 70-30 split, oh, and you can't break up you the $20 to spend $10 on a card right. and the other 10 on placing your yep. a card on your board because those are two different actions. Right. So unfortunately, it's not going to work out. So oh, that's what, good. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend these 40. It's 40 plus my government contracts, so it's 80, 80. $80. 
as well as the this the spaceship just for that symbol okay to buy an ion drive wow i'm gonna need so, this buying all well i'm gonna need a lot of rocket points to go to Mars. and that's four rocket points by the way on you have that two ion of those, drive. Though. yeah yeah and so, then anything else yes i'm going to spend this ten dollars to play a mission card yeah so there's ten dollars there and oops my final mission is going to be this base. The base base. So let me just show you this card really quick. This, is, this is the worst card in your starting deck because it doesn't give you anything. So this is the one that we're talking about that just clogs up your hand the entire game. And it only allows you to go to um, the moon and Mars, which is really expensive. So you got to hang so, on to it. got to see it. Yeah, I'm going for it. So I paid my 10 bucks. You did. And I'm going to go ahead and place that there. And then I'm going to play another $10 to place my... Ion drive into my launch pad. So you're four towards the 15 you need there? Yes. Okay. No, I'm good. six. Four, five, six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to discard this card. It is a one rocket. I have other cards that give me more than one rocket point on it, so might as well ditch it. Makes sense. That's me. That's it? Yeah. So I'm going to drop to seven. Okay, so I'm going to play my small rocket booster. It pays for itself, and now we are in here. So now I have three, four, five, six, seven, enough to go to, uh, to the moon. Um, I am going to play my storage battery. This is the one that allows me to ditch a card out of my hand Ooh. or the warehouse. Yeah. And I'm going to ditch my other pandemic card so it's not clogging me up anymore. Your other threat? My other threat. Yep, yeah. exactly. So that goes out. Uh, and then because I did that, I do get to draw one from my HQ, which I don't have an HQ set up. So let me do that real quick. Okay. Uh, seeing as the flash symbols are really important, I think I'm just going to buy this card just for to have it uh, to potentially win this this little competition that we have. Out here. So <laughs> okay. I'm going to spend 20, uh -huh. uh, 30, 40, 50. So that's that's my 50 bucks. Okay. Right there, that goes out. And then I'm going to take this one right here, the fusion reactor. Yep. So this is the one that this is the one that we talked about earlier, where it goes into your launch pad, stays yep. there forever, forever, and you can discard cards from your hand out of the game. Yep. And for each card, it's ten bucks each. Yep. So there's a lot of text on that. A lot of text so. on it. So <laughs> figured so we'll spare you. Yeah. 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 Industrial espionage. During launch, select one card from. Oh, this is the one that I I played earlier, where you can copy a card from your opponent's launch pad. Right. Cool. Okay. So uh, we are going to attempt a launch now. So I have enough. I have seven rocket power at least. So I have three, four, five, six, seven. You going to the moon? Eight, actually. We're going to the moon. Okay. And so your your space hotel. This one right here, yeah. And uh, it's gonna get me. I have one uh, flask here. Yep. Two, three. One, two, three. Yes. All right. And I have so no modifiers or anything like that. You so need seven. Seven advanced. But I get to draw four. So on these missions, I just, I just want to be successful. <laughs> so you're hoping for no zeros or ones. Exactly. That might be rough. Ready? Come on, two. One. One. Okay, keep, keep going. going. Yeah, I gotta keep you on. Three. three. Go. One, one, two, two three. three. Wow. Hey. Yeah, keep going. You just need three more. Come on. One. One. Oh, oh, it's always two away. I gotta go for it. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. All right, here we go. No, nice. 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 Ooh. Did that get you sweating? <laughs> it did. It's a warm day, too. Huh, oh, we haven't boy. really failed much since the beginning, which is nice. Yeah, wow. Okay. Right. So uh, the benefit is an ongoing extra 20. So I have another one of those now. Money in tokens. the bank. Yeah, which is kind of late in the game. but Cool. I'm going to go ahead and put you here. Yep, three points. So three points. So one, two, three. Yep, moved up the track. Okay, so this is going to go into my trash pile. All my launch pad goes into my discard, and then now I drop back up. Yep, I believe it's called a junkyard, okay, by the way, just in four. case you were wondering. <laughs> yes, I was wondering. Cool, okay. my turn? Yep, that's me. Okay, so I'm going to discard my super capacitors again. So this is the one where I can basically just flush my hand sure. of stuff that I don't need. Oh, hold on. I'm going to discard four cards total including the super super capacitors because they are also those single rocket points that don't really need. Sure. So one, two, three, four. And now let's see what we have to work with. So what I'm going to do is I also need additional cards that give me this DNA symbol. And I really haven't been buying those cards. They're here. I know. So mm -hmm. I'm going to spend these. So 20, 40, okay. and 50, which is global internet. This does not have the proper uh, symbol no. that I need. Unless you're buying this one. Oh yeah, this is the one. This is that's not a then bad option. Then you'd overpay option. though. Yeah, let's do that. 
So I'm going to spend one of these. So 20 plus 10. 10 plus 30 the symbol. plus the computer chip. Yep. And that'll get me the wireless power transfer. So this one just lets me, uh, when you use it to pay, you take one card from your warehouse, which is your, your discard pile, yep. and add it to the top of your draw deck. That's pretty good, yeah. So there's that. Okay. And I spend this card to do it. And the thing that I like about this card is when I use it to pay, I can pay, place a card on my launch pad for free. So I will do that with hmm, this card, three rocket points. What else? So I have $20. <laughs> what else you got? What can I do here? Oh, okay, I'm going to spend this 20 plus, oh no, sorry. I guess I realized that uh, my government contract is now worth $50 because I have five yeah, missions. Five out, yeah. So I'm just going to spend the, the government contracts plus this uh, flask to symbol take this thing. to take the multi-purpose spacesuit. Nice. Now so you that... cannot use two multi-purpose spacesuits though right. uh, when you when you're gonna do this thing. So it would be one or the other, and this is a good one because of the DNA symbol. Ooh. And and I think I'm just gonna spend ten dollars from my from here. I just might as well spend these okay. to place another uh, rocket, my large rocket so boosters. What, how many rockets do you have total? So I have four, seven, ten, twelve. I need three more three for more? this to be successful. Oh, no. But I don't have anything that'll help me get there right so but you're gonna have another that's still a problem mm -hmm. um i guess i'll keep the cards in my hand and then it goes back to you oh okay i'm making a push because the game is, is uh, acquiring are. all these good cards making a push Urgh. okay <laughs> all right mission we're gonna do a spaceship mission uh, okay it's gonna cost me 10 and so let's go ahead and use well that's not, let's not use that one let's use this 10 Pay for it well this will be your final mission as well mm -hmm. okay yeah so maybe we'll oh that'd be terrible if you got your mission out before me because then i wouldn't have a turn i'm gonna try well i'm not gonna be able to do it now well maybe no only if i get the mission out and it goes to mars would it end because we would be in each area if i went like back to it's earth true. or or the moon it wouldn't matter yeah, because yeah. you need to go to all three spots that's true okay Okay, I'm going to discard my Asteroid Impact card, that threat. I okay. don't need that in my hand, clogging things up. Okay, let's discard this base also, because that also does not is not relevant for me. Yeah? If I'm going for it, if I'm really going for it. You going to Mars? I'm, I want to. <laughs> I would like to. Okay. At least we're doing uh, different missions, because Naveen is sending out a spaceship, and I'm sending out a base. Yeah, you have a lot of rocket power, though. And then I'm going to play this 10 plus these uh, these two 40s uh -huh. to, so to 50? make it 50 total, uh, plus this chip over here to be able to take electric cars. And then because I'm using big data, it says when you use this card to pay, I can take this card and put it on top of my deck. Nice. So, so let's just that. talk about what this card is really quick. It's been a while since we've done that. So this is electric cars. They are snazzy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it costs the fifty dollars plus the the computer chip. You yep, spent the computer which chip. I did, yeah, which is part of that card. And so on his turn, if he has it in his hand, he can discard it to take another card that he already played, so it's in his playing area, and place it on top of his draw deck, so that you can essentially get it for the next. To turn use it twice, yeah, as well. It's nice. Yeah. So this card will go on top for me because I use that uh, that card. This is going to come out. Cool. Radi Ooh, radiation shielding. Helix. So launch pad. If you put in your launch pad, if you draw a zero mission success card, discard this oh, that's to nice. advance your marker two spaces on the mission track. That's that is so good. That would have been nice. Yeah. So that's cost, <laughs> that cost me all my money. So uh, okay. pretend I, I did that. Cool. And then now I get to draw up again. Okay. That was me. Well, I have my eyes set on that, but I don't know if I have the proper symbols. <gasps> no, Naveen, if you draw a computer symbol into your hand, that can be yours. It could be mine because I did not properly purchase cards earlier in the game that would give me these symbols right. uh, on the go around. That's kind of my weakness in this game. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh uh, my $40 here mm -hmm. and I'm gonna spend one of them to place a, a my ion drive here. Ooh. So now it is ready to launch. Oh man. So four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, we can go to Mars, but I don't have anything that's gonna actually help me go up this track. So sure. this is not a smart time to launch. But you have, you're, now you're all set. Now it's all about just finding those things. Correct. With the other $10 from that, by the way, I'm going to place this card into my launch pad, the Industrial Espionage. So this card lets me um, copy a card from the beans. Sure. And then unfortunately that's it because I did not properly get Ooh. any symbols or anything in order to buy any of these cards. I wanted to buy a threat card, but because I'm so far up here, it's so expensive in symbols. I would need to spend two additional symbols that I don't have. 
I guess I'm going to discard all four of these and keep this card because now I'm looking less for the money and more for the symbols. It's interesting how that flipped, right? Yeah. So one, two, three, and this gets discarded. Okay, so back to you. Okay, so I have both my bases. They got to go. They're, they're just <laughs> clogging up. Clogging. Oh, terrible draw. Should have ditched those cards out of the game. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to play my AI card here. And I have to discard it, and it says, search your HQ for any card, take it in your hand, and then shuffle my HQ. So I'm going to play that there. I'm going to find some rockets. I found it. Okay, there we go. Okay. okay and then I'm going to shuffle my HQ. Good luck to me. Good luck. Okay, and then and then after that, I'm going to play my electric cars, which is that card that I just talked about. Uh -huh. um, take a card from uh, my playing area and then add it to the top of my HQ. So that AI card, I'm just going to put it right on top. Nice. Yeah. Look at that combo move. Yes. So okay. good. And then I'm going to put my 30 rocket out. Uh, I'm sorry, my three rocket out, the large rocket boosters. Okay. And it's going to cost me 10, and I'm going to use that big data card. Nice. Okay. And cool. so that one goes there. And then now uh, I have 40 bucks. Oh. Nothing costs 40. Nothing costs 40. So uh, I'm going to spend this 20. I'm going to overpay for this over for the 20. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to put my uh, research institute out. So it's just an extra symbol for me. Perfect. I can use oh, that. Oh, you can. Well, don't let that hinder you. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Dang it. I mean, to get to Mars is 13. It's a lot. 13 spaces. So that's kind of rough. Yeah, that's me. Cool. All right. So I'm going to start by discarding my threat card because okay. like Naveen said, those are useless in your hand. Well, first of all, I'm going to spend this 40, so 20, 40, plus my global internet, which is 50, and the and the computer chip, to buy the radiation shielding. So this is the one where if you draw a zero, you can discard this to advance your marker two spaces, mm -hmm. and it has the, the DNA, which is nice. So this goes into my discard. And what do we have? High efficiency booster. During lunch, you just discard this card to advance your marker two spaces. Cool. On that's your nice. mission track. That's oh, nice. do I have enough money for that? Darn, that's so good. Mm. By the way, when I played my um, global internet, because I used it to pay, I could put a card on my launch pad for free. Nice. So I'm going to do so, and I'm going to play my backup systems, because it lets, just lets me advance the, the marker one space. And I think I'm going to end my turn. I'm going to discard these three oh cards. Gosh. Oh, did you say it? Did you think I was going to say I'm going to try to end it? I thought you were. Discarding three cards. So that's me. Back to you. We're getting really close. I only need a couple more things, really, before I can try to launch. Okay, I think, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get these rocket cards that I need, so I think I'm going to buy something oh, okay. first. So I have 20, 40, 60, 70. Nice. So I have 70. Because uh, to, to clear out one of these, it cost... Um, it cost me an extra 10, 20. So it's going to cost me 70 total. Right. So I'm going to flip these over. Okay, and then which one are you going to get? The asteroid impact or the climate change? Uh, let's see what symbols I have that I can work with. So, uh, well, I have a uh, I have a research institute, so I can act as anything. So I'm just going to toss that out. And since this is closer to me, I'll just take this one. And you're going to need to do one more symbol. Of uh, any time. Oh yeah, I have this one right here. I'm okay, flip perfect. This over. Yeah, this is an because ongoing one. Of this threshold. Yep. So right. that's going to be worth an extra three points at the end of the game. Nice. So then let's refill. Very good. So programmable material. It lets you exchange your current mission with a mission card from your hand or warehouse. So you can just do a super swap. Because <laughs> typically if oh. you decide you don't want to do this mission, then you can discard the mission. But you also have to discard all the cards from your launch pad. Wow. You can't just swap it just like that unless you have that card. So oh, man. thinking about it. No, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, you could go to Earth. or the moon? Earth is only worth one point. Okay. Uh, the moon, I'm already there. Oh, you can. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play this AI card. It's uh, search your AQ for any card, take it into your hand, and then shuffle the HQ. So let's do that. Okay. Let's see what we got. What are you looking for? So I will take this card into my hand, and then I have to shuffle this. Yeah, I think I messed up when I played this uh, spaceship out there. I did, I did bad math. <laughs> Rock, bad rocket ship math. Bad rocket point math. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'll take that one. Okay, and then I'm going to take this card and uh, play it for free. Uh, the two rocket ship over here. So now I have seven. Seven total. <laughs> and then I'm going to spend this 30 right here yep. to take this high efficiency booster. 
and it's a launch pad action. It says, uh, during launch, discard this card to advance your marker two spaces on the mission track. Oh, that's nice. If the mission's successful, then you then you get rid of it. That's and it, nice. And it's, it's also a rocket ship. So. Last card, so. Yeah. All right, this is the last card in the deck here. We've depleted them all. Nice. Launch escape system. So uh, you put it in your launch pad, and then if you abort your mission, you can discard this instead of discarding any other cards from your launch pad. So it's a little bit too late in the game for it. Yeah. But it is a DNA symbol. Although, let's see, if I'm trying to go to Mars, I can draw five mission success cards. Maybe I'll try. Okay. Because we've it's been doing this for over. a while. So yeah, I guess yeah. I think we should try. Sure. All right. I'm going to spend the $20 to play my uh, multi purpose spacesuit into my launch pad. That's a nice card. Yeah, that is a great one. As well as my wireless power transfer, because that'll get me a bump up. Okay. So then I'll only need to do nine, I think. Mm -hmm. Although, no, actually, this doesn't. This doesn't do that. This doesn't give me an advancement. This only lets me discard a card, a mission success card that wasn't good. I have $110 and no symbols oh, to use. So wow. the only thing I can buy is this. Which is? The industrial espionage select card. Uh, it's the same thing that I already have in yeah, play. Have I don't it. want to just muddy my deck even further. That's it. I'm just going to discard all these cards but one. Okay. That's a nice. I like that government contract. That's, That's been giving card, me yeah. so much money. Well, let's try to launch. You're going for it? Yeah, All I'm right. gonna try. Okay. So I'm going to Mars and it is my base. So where's my other base? Rolling base. There you go. And it's uh, 15 rocket points. I think we already discussed that I have enough. Four, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I have 16. Okay. So it's gonna be it's gonna allow me to draw five mission success cards. Now, with my other cards here, I have uh, one DNA symbol, so it's one, not this one. Okay. Two, which is just an advanced one space, and a three, three because I'm copycatting one of Naveen's. Okay. Do you have anything that's just better? No. Okay. So it's three advancements, and then just this card that I can discard if I if you draw if you don't a terrible like something, one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna draw five cards, potentially six if you use that card. Ready? Yeah. One. No. You know. Ah, let's do it. it. One. It's not looking good. No. <laughs> Should I discard that one? Well, you you have time. Or do you have to make the decision right now? I have to make it. Oh, no. It says discard this card and already drawn mission success yeah, card. You get to choose. Okay. I have time. Yeah. So I did one and one. One, one. Okay. Two. Okay. One, two. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One. <gasps> oh, my mm. gosh. Uh. You probably want to discard a one or. Does it auto fail if you? I guess you can see this. Right. Uh, I pretty. I feel like I should make the decision now. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna discard a one. A one, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I take back a one. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Ready? Yeah, Naveen. Three. Please. One, two, three. Okay. You need to draw another three. You need to draw a three or a four. There are one, two, three, four cards in the deck that you need to draw, or you can abort. Uh. Gosh, I, I'm gonna abort. You're gonna abort. Okay. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Aborting. So I have to discard three cards. Three cards. Wow. Unless like you're. I'm in gonna the discard two of my rocket boosters because I have so many rocket cards. Okay. So I'm gonna discard these two and. Wow. The industrial espionage. Okay. Just in case some funny business happens okay. in the beans launch pad. Sure. I don't want that to be a useless card. Do you so... want to see what would happen? Yeah. Two. Okay, oh, yeah. So you would have failed. One, two. You would have failed. You'd have been one short. Ah, okay. I feel better about that. That's yeah. Well, well I tried. You did. That I was tried. wow. I thought you were gonna get it, and then I mean, three ones is pretty Gosh, tough. That stinks. I was really hoping yeah. that the that 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 would succeed. It's All not, right. You not... have a little bit more time to be in. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Wow. Okay. I think I'm gonna play my uh my AI card again. This is that whole search my HQ and take the the one that the I card like. That you want. Yeah. And I have my whole stack here, so let's just find something. Okay. I'll take uh I'll take this card, and I get to shuffle all this. Okay, so I have some time, is what we're saying. You have a little bit of time. I have a little bit of time. I didn't discard that many cards. I can probably recover a good portion of it. That's funny because I was frustrated with myself for not buying enough cards that have item symbols on mm -hmm. them, and Naveen went heavy item symbols and not enough rocket points. Not so enough rockets. I can't. I can't go anywhere. Yeah. The engines. Okay, so I'm definitely discarding my asteroid impact card, that that uh, threat. Okay. And then I'm just gonna discard. I'm just gonna discard a bunch of cards. Okay. I'm just going to discard four cards. 
to draw up that many. To just draw, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. Okay, that was a bad turn. You're done? That's it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try to recover. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh to that. And I'm going to spend... Well, first I'm going to discard my super capacitors as well as this card because I don't need them sure. so that I could draw these two from my deck. My small rocket boosters pays for itself because yep. it has the $10. I'm going to spend $20 here to place my radiation shielding that has a DNA symbol as well as my multi-purpose spacesuit that also has a D the DNA symbol. Okay. And then my other $20 to place an oh i can't oh, you can't have the same one i can't have the same card no. twice nope. then i'm not going to spend the 20 dollars to do that i'm going to spend my 10 dollars from my hand to place um the large rocket well, boosters so you're back to 15. So I'm back to 15. Mm. i have four eight nine ten thirteen fifteen so i can i'm eligible to launch and okay. i honestly think this is going to get as good as it gets yeah that's pretty good so i'm probably going to launch shoot the mission dang it but i have 40 60 60 bucks and a flask to buy something and i can't buy anything yeah. <laughs> because i'm still short you're short on that so that's gonna be it so i put my base here out on mars okay and then, i hope you don't get it <laughs> <laughs> i get let's see just from symbols alone i have three three of these dna symbols so okay. one two three this one says, uh, if it's in my launch pad, during launch, advance your marker one space on the mission space track. Wow. And these are the other two, these are the two cards that are going to help me during the launch. Okay. So if I draw a zero mission success card, I can discard this to advance two. And then this is the one that lets me discard a card that's already been drawn that I didn't So we need to like. see you draw all the ones. <laughs> so five, five cards. Because the zero is good for you right Yeah, now. please draw zero, Naveen. Ready? Three. Okay. okay, that's nice. One, two, three. Keep going. Yeah. Two. Two. One, two. Oh, no. I'm going to get there. Ready? Yeah. Two. One, two. Oh, yeah. You got this. Okay, two more cards. One. Uh-oh. Well, no, because if you draw the zero, oh, yeah, 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 then yeah. You, get, you get the two. Oh, this is zero. <laughs> okay, so that's a zero. So I discard this. Discard that. To go up two. To go up two. Two spaces. Oh, so yeah. I have reached. Oh, this is the end game. Mars. No. Here. No. Um, I, wanted to get to I Mars. technically get to increase my hand size because that's what that does. But yeah, I this is this is my last turn. That's right. This gets discarded, and this is going to get placed over here, here. Yes. So I get eight, eight points. Eight points plus the Mars token. Am I blue? You are. So I go to twenty three. All right, that's that's another end game. That's another end game anyway. trigger. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I get the Mars tokens. It's going to be worth a point at the end. Mm. That is it for me, Very Naveen. Good. This is your final turn. I'm not even gonna draw cards. Yeah, anymore. no need to draw cards now. Is that okay? Well, I should probably just buy. So I can, I just never had enough rockets to go to Mars. I don't even know why I even try to do this whole thing right here. But if I buy this, it's worth an extra three points. So I might as well buy this right here. So this is gonna cost me fifty plus uh, an extra ten, so seventy, and then one extra symbol to that. So I have uh, twenty forty. Okay. Twenty forty. Oh, fifty sixty. Okay. Seventy. Okay, and okay. then you need a flask symbol flask. and any other symbol. And then I'll, I'll play the symbol right here, the research okay. institute. Okay? Nice. Perfect. Then, uh, since I am eligible to launch here, I'm going to, so I'm going to buy this card right here, yeah. the climate change. Right. So it's going to be worth three points at the end of the game. Then I'm going to spend my big data. Okay. And I'm going to put it into here as a chip. And so all this hullabaloo, and I'm just going to go to Earth. Oh, you're gonna launch. I'm gonna be able to launch. Hey, it's still a point. It's still a point, I and that's... I might have something on this on my secret objective cards that oh. might need another point. So very interesting. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead and do it. So I definitely have more than the three here. Yeah. And then I have uh, one, two, three symbols. Uh, so, so I get a one, three. One, two, advance. three. And yep. what are you putting out? Uh, this one right the here. Spaceship. Yes. So you just need. Um, what's I need... eight? I need. You need five. Five. Yeah. Five. So I get to draw three. Cool. And this I... is. This is cute. It's like we went full circle because we started the game going to Earth. And I kind of hung Earth. out at Earth a lot. Earth is a good like place home. to be. Earth is home. Earth is home. Earth is home. <laughs> just, draw, just draw some high value cards. Okay, how Take, many do you get? Three? I get three of them, yeah. All right, ready? Yes. Two. two one, two. Keep going. <laughs> yes. Three. three one, one, two, three. Success. That would have been terrible. No matter what, I was success. going for it. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. Cool.
Fantastic. So, so I that, technically get a rocket ship, which was very needed for me. But, so uh, this just goes, where is the spaceship? Uh, here to one. There. So you get one, one point. One point. There you go. All right. That is the end of the game. That was long. That was long, but yeah. we made it. Yeah. So let's go into final score. Sure, that's it. So starting with threat cards. So okay. Go through your entire deck, including the stuff in your junk, in your junkyard. Yes. That's where you send trash cards. Sure. And grab all your threat cards. Yep, just the one. Okay, so if you have one, then that means I have the five. <laughs> okay, and uh, the variants are scored separately, but we're just going to include this now. Yes, okay, since that makes sense. It's and we'll flip the it over. Threat card. So threat cards are worth one point because of the Earth Summit. So we're at one additional point. So I have one of them for a grand total of three, three. more. <laughs> one, two, three. And you have? I have five of them wow. for a grand total of 15. 15, Naveen, good job. Three, four, five, yeah. So that's 29. Moving on. No, B. <laughs> that's great. I know. Okay, so, right. this, so we scored this. Yeah, we scored that. Okay. Uh, next thing is these. So I got both of the, I got the Mars yes. and the Moon token. They're worth one point each. So two. one, two. Okay. Uh, let's just score this variant now. Okay. And that is whoever has the most of those flask symbols I on your cards. I have quite a bit. You get get three points. I, I think I have it. And you can count your science. They're called science tokens, which are those wild, the wild symbols. You can, right. have, and I think it's also on your achievement token. Yeah, token, Because so you, yeah. you have a science symbol there. I do, yeah. I think I have six of them. Oh, you definitely win it. I, I have three. Yeah. If so you have more I, than three, then one, you got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have six of them. Okay. So three so points. So three points for nice. Naveen. So you got 32, flipping your chit over. Okay. And the last thing are our personal goal cards. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it onto the the thing here. Were you able to do it all? I did it all. Did you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you doing the math? Okay, I'm doing the math. Okay, okay. Uh -oh, okay. Let's just figure it out. you think. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, things you will do I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay. Go. Let's just find out. Go. So this is, a, this is a personal goal card that I'm going to score. It is the space, commun space communication. I did spaceship. Your first. Earth orbit. Yep. Yep, and I was first. Mm -hmm. The satellite to the moon, you're and I was first. first, and then the base, base oh, to Mars. Oh, wow. that's why you're really good so, at that. So, because I did all three, it's worth three additional points, and be, in a two-player game, you have to be first in all of them in order to score the additional two. So that's five points total. So that puts me at 33. Naveen, you just have to score two points. <laughs> good thing I went to Earth. <laughs> to take the win. Okay, my personal goal was called Lost in Space. Okay, so this is Naveen's personal goal. He has to spend spaceships. He has to send spaceships to all these places. So it's uh, all three all three areas, So one on Earth I just did right now, just did on my last turn. Okay. One on the moon. Uh-huh. And that's it, two of them. Two points, that's it! Because, wow. So that's a uh, one, two. Good job, one, wow, I cannot believe. One I cannot point. believe it was that close. Wow. Wow. Good job. Naveen, good I job. Did it. It's, you know, it's those very I was scoring. a little worried for you at the end there when you didn't have any <laughs> wow. rocket rocket. I, you know what? But I, I knew I had that fail safe of getting something going to Earth. Yeah. Because that's why I specifically played this card was hopefully I could I could stick around to go to Mars. But if I couldn't do it, I had definitely enough to, to fall back on Earth score this and then score my my end game yeah that was integral so, that, yeah so um, that's why i specifically remember when you were saying do you want to switch out your card mm -hmm. there was no other option that would have been better because yeah. if i switched out i still need rockets to go to mars you know good job yeah thank you that was a uh, that was tough because uh, we both went for different strategies in the beginning yeah. i went heavy rocket points which was helpful at the end because i knew i wanted to go to mars yeah and naveen went heavy everything else yeah which was really helpful for you because the threat cards is, are, is what really and made the difference when I saw the variant was that threat cards are one extra point. I was like, yeah, okay, let's let's go that route. Yeah, I mean, when yeah. you're going to Earth and you're getting one point or two points just to send a mission to do all that work. Yeah, and a uh, threat card is worth three points. That's that's totally Might worth well. it. So that's why I hung out in Earth and kind of a little bit in the moon and then just collected threats. Yeah, I feel like the first time we played this, we collected fewer threats because. And it ended up clogging up the entire market, by it the did, way. Yes. Because we saw them and we're like, it's only worth two points. And at that time, it's your first play. We didn't realize what the uh, 
the threshold for yeah. points was. Mm -hmm. And now that, that we've played it a few times, we know that two points You'll is a lot. You'll take two points if you can, yeah. So, and no more failures since the beginning. So that's yeah. always nice, right? Yes. You but abandoned yeah. you abandoned our aborted twice. I did. And we revealed that it was a good abort. Yes. So that was well played. So anyway, yeah. good Thank job. You. Well played. Sneak the win. I got one. That is Rocket Man. Rocket Man. So uh, if you have any questions about this game, I hope we are playing everything properly. I if hope we so. made any mistakes, we will include them in uh, maybe a comment, a pinned comment down below. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you have any questions about the gameplay or just, just anything you saw here today, please feel free to leave us a comment down below and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.